And if you can, how is the um, the sound? So first of all, I'm going to let everybody know. Let me see what chat's saying. Oh, hello, Jericho D. Hello, Harmony. Harmony, thank you so much for pointing out that I had the date wrong. Hold on. So, uh, hello, Bestie White Knight. Hello, Edna. Hello, Bobble-Headed Disco Biscuit. Just so everybody knows how it's going for me. So, I have my working iPad duct taped to the wall, strings everywhere, notes taped to the wall, and then my old iPad that's really not good for anything except for streaming YouTube because it's just old and junky. I turned it on and it was like, update? Sure. It's been updating for like 47 minutes now. It's about halfway done. That's the way I keep track of chat. So, kind of sucks to be me. Princess Alyssa, hello. Um, so, thumbs up in the chat. Do I sound, am I redlining and pegging out? Am I normal level? Does it sound like I'm whispering? How's the quality? Because I know with my last one, everybody said the volume was fine, but when I listened to it, it kept cracking because I kind of kept redlining. So please let me know. Hello, EK. I see you. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. And it doesn't sound like I'm yelling, so it's pegging out and redlining. Holy moly. Welcome. Welcome, EK. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so let me finish. So just so for anybody just rolled in, like I said, that the iPad I keep chat track of chat on currently updating because yay, Apple show you. See, that's a little over than half done. So I'm going to have to use my phone, which is usually how I Google things. Um, and then let's see. Oh, let me change. So I'm going to have to keep track of chat on my phone. Uh, everybody will be relieved to know. I have notes on Chinny. She has been extra egregious the last couple days. Uh, sorry for the light over here. If I had duct taped my iPad going this way more, then the light from the stove overexposes the camera, and the, so then it dims down. Then you can't see me. I'm just this disembodied voice. There's not much I can do. They messed with the clocks. It's now light later. Um, let's see. What else? Hello, April. Welcome. I'm just explaining to every. So for anybody just rolled in, I am explaining why I suck at this. Sorry. So I have my notes on Chantal. Um, since last week, remember how I said I hadn't, I needed to go grocery shopping? Full disclosure, still have not gone shopping. Like we are down to the basically what I call the, the, the pantry on the boat type canned goods type of cooking situation type deal here. So that's what's going on. Uh, I just need to use some stuff up probably next week. I'm going to go down. I got to go stay with, I'm going to go stay with my aunt, um, sissy for a week or two. So there's no point in me loading up on groceries. So tonight I figured what I would do is whilst we have a conversation about the monetized content that Chantal Marie foodie beauty has put out for us to discuss, uh, I will get the dough going and get some cinnamon rolls prepared. Let them um, <clears throat> rise. And while I'm, they're rising, I'm going to make some truly white trash tuna noodle casserole. Uh, my itty bitty used to make it all the time. Hers was not white trash. I'm going complete white trash. So And then, so, then I can throw that in the oven and then we can finish up the... Uh, cinnamon rolls if that makes sense so we're not going to be here all night but i have some notes and some thoughts okay let me go through <clears throat> hello aaron tay thank you for being here once again everybody give harmony and life a huge love in the chat because she pointed out to me like hey <laughs> your live is scheduled for 24 hours from now so i had to quickly redo it <clears throat> so i said hello aaron tay holy moly april i said hello uh, Edna, I'm just scrolling through, Alyssa, thanks in advance to the people who are modding for me, um, apparently, I think, I don't know, 
there might be other channels streaming. There might not. And so just if, if anybody new rolls in, just let them know that we're not here to discuss conspiracy theories. We're just going to, you know, we kind of talk about the things we see. <laughs> so we'll keep the crazy out of the chat. Is my volume still okay? Hey, Desiree, good to see you. Sweet, thanks, Bobbleheaded Disco Biscuit. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's super awesome. Like, I, I was really tired, and I, oh, I got my Angry Birds <laughs> uh, t-shirt on because, and for anybody that's wondering, why am I sitting? I'm kind of making fun of Chantal. I wish I was that uh, witty, but not what the deal is, is if I, uh, duct tape my iPad to the wall so I can stand up. You cannot see anything I'm doing down here, which kind of defeats the purpose of a bad baking and questionable cooking. So I have to sit down. <clears throat> I prefer to stand, but I have thoughts on that too. So, all right. Let's see. Anybody new? So yeah, please bear with me while I just, Hey, Layla. It, hey, Teeley. So, uh, yeah, bear with me until this iPad's on so I have a bigger chat. So what I'm going to do, um, I guess I'm going to break into making some cinnamon rolls right now. I'm going to get those going so we can start discussing, um, like, wh where do we even go? Like, Chantal's rage today at FSG. Do we to talk about the pizza and bee stream? Uh, just... The iPhone, uh, the blue tarp window. I mean, I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to start going through my notes and they'll probably jump around. Um, and we'll discuss while I, uh, and if there's anybody in the chat that is a professional baker, a really good baker, or like an excellent cook, I apologize in advance. Uh, looking at you, EK. Sorry. <laughs> so let's see. <clears throat> Oh, is Blondie here? Hello, Blondie. Good to see you. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start making up the dough for the cinnamon rolls. <clears throat> and also um, for and what I'll do is, is after we're done, I will post the recipe. This is an, actually a really easy recipe for cinnamon rolls. And uh, it, it's not for a huge amount of cinnamon rolls. You know, a lot of uh, recipes, you end up with just, you know, a pan of cinnamon rolls. And this one is for like, you know, 10 to 12 smaller. They'll fit in a, you know, a smaller pie pan. And it's nice because I personally don't like the dough of my cinnamon rolls to be stale. And they go stale very quickly. So I will post this recipe. It is Drunk Monkey Simple, obviously, because I can do it on... Uh, bad baking. And as far as the, the white trash tuna noodle casserole, inexpensive. And, and I'm not making fun. Like if anybody's having monetary issues, I get it. I live in a double white trailer. I have zero room to talk. So I'm not white trash shaming. I am white trash. Thank you. Um, hey, Linda, good to see you. I'm just kind of babbling here because like, as usual, I, um, Last week, I was super nervous and didn't have anything ready. Now I'm much more prepared, but still completely nervous. So it's going to take me a second. So I'm going to get out my bowls and stuff and start preparing while everybody chats amongst themselves. Um, and so do we want to talk, start talking about the iPhone, that salad bot, uh, Chantal? Do we want to start off with like that? that that's probably the, the furthest away thing versus you know the pizza bees followed by today's whatever today's stream was raging at ffg so do we want to start with the iphone thing does that sound good if that sounds good uh thumbs up in the chat and if if you want to start with something white knight yeah exactly there's nothing wrong with uh trailers trust me it's only affordable living for a lot of people so yeah let me know if the iphone um situation type deals cool oh decent hamburger helper exactly edna and i'll, I'll say that hey capone boxer good to see you is that is something that i do because you know there's those days where like you just don't have a lot around there is nothing wrong with taking like a box dinner and then zhuzhing it up i do that all the time 
and then I completely take credit for it. You'd be surprised what fresh diced tomatoes and like, you know what I mean? Some like <laughs> fresh rice thrown in and an extra can of red beans or something. It looks amazing. Tastes amazing. You know, you can, why not take credit? Okay. And I think my iPad's finally coming back online. <clears throat> One more time. Let me know if my volume is cracking. Let me know if I'm redlining because last week's live, my volume was terrible. I almost couldn't listen to it. And if it, hey, Lini, it's super good to see you, man. I hope you're doing well. Um, and if anybody, like, I haven't been super ticky today, but as the day goes on, I get a little more ticky. So there's some humming and there's a lot of blinking or anything like that. Just let it roll. There are no drugs involved. This is just me, Tourette syndrome, syndrome and all. Oh, joy. So, um, <clears throat> let's see. Hypoponic humming on the All right. Okay. So everybody keeps saying hi while I get stuff prepared. I do have things on the counter. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is start. Okay. This is going to get annoying. Oh, I got to get my, uh, hold on. I got to get, I'm going to put my apron on too. Wow, this iPad just started over again. I don't know that I'm going to be able to see the chat very well for a while. Okay. Oh, thank you, holy moly. Hey, Dax, good to see you, man. Come to hang out with all the... <laughs> so, okay, well, nobody's really saying anything in chat. So I will start with, let's talk about the iPhone. But before we talk about the iPhone, um, first I got to mix up the stuff for the dough. I have it memorized, but I wrote it down anyway just to be safe because I'm trying to, I can't even, like, I say this all the time. I have a hard time walking and chewing gum. So me trying to do a recipe from memory while having a conversation that doesn't, you know, I can get myself sideways. So the first thing we're going to do, <clears throat> we will start off with the whole iPhone. Um, and if people want to start discussing that in chat, but this new iPhone, like first and foremost, do we really think that Salad bought that new iPhone for Chantal? Do we think that Salad bought Chantal this new iPhone? <clears throat> or do we think that maybe Chantal paid for it herself? And number two, <clears throat> do we think maybe that iPhone was an Alice Shabib special and if there's anybody new in chat if, if ask questions the mods and stuff will fill you in on who these people are so do do do, do we think that salad pay for that brand new iphone do we think it might be an alice shabib or somebody in that vicinity that realm of possibility to the point where um Maybe Salad said, oh, look how much this retails for. And like I said, this is not a conspiracy. This is just me throwing out some theories because let's face it, I've been watching Chantal for so long now. Like, you know, if it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck. So could it be that, you know, Salad the scammer has a buddy who got him a deal. And so he said, yep, we got to pay cash. It's $2,300 or whatever. She gives it to him, and then he gets some refurbished iPhone 14 or whatever it is and gives it to her because you can get a perfectly – the iPad I'm using right now was refurbished, you know, and uh, I got it for markedly less. It looked brand new, but it was not brand new, so it cost less. So do we think maybe Salad did that to her and pocketed the rest? And then the other thing with the iPhone, everybody's like, well, why would Chantal get an iPhone uh, and not a Samsung? Because Samsungs have filters. Here's my theory on this is I think, um, <clears throat> oh, so real quick, you want to spoon the, uh, so it's going to be two and three quarters cup of flour. You want to spoon it into the cup because if you just dip it in like this, it packs it in and then you end up with a lot more flour than the recipe actually calls for, and that can actually cause problems. So um, let's see, what were we talking about? Oh, so wh why why an iPhone? It doesn't really have the filters. You can get third-party filters, but you know it, it it's not something that comes with it. Is personally, I think Salad has an iPhone. Salad uses an iPhone. Salad's comfortable with an iPhone, um, and he doesn't want to change. So he said, let's just get an iPhone. Or maybe the connections he has. Uh, 
iPhone is what he can get. So, like I said, these are my thoughts. Everybody let me know. But I think they, he went wanted, he insisted on an iPhone because that's what Salad knows. And so that way, if he needs to get into the phone and stuff, it's not a strange operating system. Yeah, the video, yeah, exactly, holy moly. He's trying to say, oh, my video quality was so terrible. Yeah. Her video quality wasn't terrible. There might have been a connectivity issue, but that had nothing to do with the phone. Um, and so, yeah, just, I, I, I think it's an, they had to get an iPhone because of salad. Get rid of it. I'm trying to catch up. Like I said, I really can't see chat. So maybe I'll just, yeah, I'm a, a, an Android fan. Um, okay, so probably Verizon free with service. Yes. Let's see if she's going to use any excuse possible to get rid of that iPhone. Oh, I agree. So, um, oh, I so desperately want to, hold on, hopefully my iPad's on because I've also got, yay. So I snapped a couple screenshots. Call me petty, but did you guys see with that iPhone how incredibly red she looked? Because we're used to Samsung where she, you know, she's filtered to the max. She's smooth. She's so much thinner. So first, let me find, um, let me find the, the picture that I screenshot. I'm not going to spend a ton of time doing this because I know it's annoying, but here's her uh, from a, her Samsung from February 25th versus the iPhone pictures from March 16th. Like, look at the difference. So, if anything, this is higher quality. She is so much thinner. You can't see the, the, the diabetes, high blood pressure, non-fatty, alcoholic liver disease, uh, you know, bloating. And so, for her to say that the Samsung was a problem... You know, and in that, the, this is just from the live, you know, she was just doing, look how incredibly red she is and how much larger she is. And so, like, I, I honestly believe Chantal has literally drank her own Kool-Aid at this point. Or, you know, maybe she thinks we're all stupid. I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, it's a huge difference. So... Everybody explain to Dax, but instead of the apple on the back of her new iPhone, she has a pear, right? She wishes she was pear-shaped. She is, she is the most unfortunate. What, what is that from um, Austin Powers? Head. Down in front, head. Looks like an orange with the, you know, toothpick legs. It's, she's just the most unfortunate shape. Okay, so for the cinnamon roll, though. You do two and three quarters. Sorry, you cannot, can't see my head. This is just the way it is. Two and three quarters cups of flour. But, yeah, so I think salad is comfortable with an iPhone. So he insisted on an iPhone. Uh, I'm about 50-50 that it was an Allah Shabib type special. And he said it costed X. Took the money because, hey, we're paying cash. And pocketed the rest. I don't know that. I'm about 50-50 on that one. But, you know, like I said, it, it Occam's razor. And he was really particular. He kept telling her to stop filming a lot. Um, I don't think, well, I, I don't think. I know Salad is not that fluent. He's not that conversational in English. You know, you hear her always trying to explain to him. So I, th I honestly believe Salad peruses the farms, um, but I think bigger concepts and stuff escape him because his reading comprehension in English isn't that good. But I think he sees maps getting put up on the, for anybody who doesn't know, Kiwi Farms, um, getting put up there. And he's getting worried that people are homing in. So I think, you know, that or maybe they, they did go to someplace shady where they shouldn't have even been filming, you know. And like I said, I, I just... It just seemed a little weird, so he, he kept making her turn that phone off, which was odd. All right, hold on. I'm going to pull up, um, see if I can't make my chat bigger. Hold on. Okay, chat is a little bit bigger now. Okay, turn this down. All right, so that's two and three quarters.
Yeah, yeah, exactly, Capone Boxer. That 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 brand new 2300 iPhone probably came shockingly enough with a free selfie stick. So, yeah, or a free vape pen, or you know, <laughs> something like that, or a free phone case. Totally, you know, not refurbished or <laughs> you know, reappropriated from a unsuspecting tourist. Oh wait, that's a third of I guess. So hold on, I accidentally filled so. I'm at two and a half cups. It needs to be, I need another quarter cup, not another third of a cup. I'm so busy talking, I filled up the wrong one. Um, but that's where I am on that. Uh, let's see. Oh, and the, then the other thing that, um, so let's see. I'm trying to look. I've got so many notes. Um Oh, and so that that so I I mean if anybody has anything else to say, um, so yeah, let's move on to like the pizza bees that where she said she was literally starving. She hadn't eaten all day, and she was eating that pizza that had actual hot dogs on it, and that she put all the ketchup on it. We've seen her eat gravy on her pizza before. I can't remember her putting actual ketchup. So part of me is like, oh, maybe she likes ketchup on it. But the other part is maybe she was just trying to be shocking. Oh, oh, and that reminds me. In fact, I'm going to check stuff off. Is, uh, is, I'm, I'm going to, so before we talk about the pizza bees, so first we've got the iPhone is. And then the next thing is, is, uh, Chantal saying that, uh, you know, Salad wants her to start wearing Western wear, you know, the T-shirts and the pants. And, you know, the way that started, somebody in chat said, hey, wouldn't you be more comfortable in pants and a, a shirt? And she kind of looked at Salad and was like, well, what do you think about that? And, he's, and Salad was like, oh, you should do that. And so here we are, uh, Chantal. And so the thing is, is like, is Chantal looking at that because she's looking to get into more cotton wear? Because that polyester skin tight sausage casing abaya, it's got to be hot and miserable and it's black. And we're just now starting to get into the hotter months. I really think she's starting to feel that. Um, or do we think it's a, it's because Salad also realizes that she's kind of a spectacle because she, they can't get uh, ready made off the hanger abayas. Bigger than size 60. Chantal is literally the maximum size. So, you know, but Chantal was like, oh, you know, Salah wants me to start wearing Western wear. And, um, you know, is, is it Salah wanting that? Is it Chantal wanting to get into more cotton things, even though she she loves LARPing as my opinion? She loves LARPing as a Muslim because, you know, she can put the the the. Uh, hijab on and hide all of this and then I think she thinks that those abayas kind of cover her unfortunate shape and her marked weight gain but it really doesn't it's 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 fairly you know not good oh is Clarky in here hi Janine T welcome very nice Janet Peterson hello um sorry I'm just rambling I'm just gonna keep rambling so, yeah, it's, it's so, I don't know, you know, he, it, but he did say, oh, you should. And then uh, I'm just trying to decide what order to even go in. I have so many notes. Um, oh, and then when they, did you see in the, the live where they showed the blue tarp window in there and they thought they were so witty by having you know the mannequin hand in there flipping everybody off i mean salad gets more annoying and more disgusting like i i don't know what's going on with this guy on the front end i just thought he was a low watt light bulb but um i don't know he seems to be buying into this is it because he's getting free money from a ridiculous canadian who thinks she's found the love of her life uh it just he just doesn't strike me as physically attracted to her or anything i you know but he he doesn't seem to be disgusted by her either which says a lot about salad 
I'm just saying, you know, water seeks its own level. Um, all right, so two and three quarters cups flour. You need a quarter cup sugar. Where's my, let's see, quarter cup sugar. That's rice, not sugar. Everybody just keep chatting in chat. You know how this rolls. So, yeah, I think, what, I, I honestly, at this point, I used to think that uh, salad, like I said, was a low watt light bulb, but I just think that his English comprehension isn't that good, so he comes across as stilted and weird, but no, I think he's a scumbag like her, like, you know, everybody's like, oh, he seems nice, or I've seen people say, oh, he seems nice, and, you know, no, I think it's scammer, meta scammer, player can't play a player, you know, at their own game, and I think Chantel fatfished him, and he scammed her, and, but they seem to get along, you know, overall, so, um, yeah, he's, he's a pretty vile human being, in my opinion, and then a half teaspoon of, uh, teaspoon of salt for the dough. I hope that was a teaspoon. So, let's see. Salad must have a deviated septum. No kidding. Uh, uh, yeah, salad really seems shifty. On the front end, I... I I was I was gonna give him the benefit of the doubt, but the things that have fallen out of that man's mouth, he gets no. Um, oh, I'm gonna whisk these together so they're nice and mixed, and then I'm gonna do like the yeast, milk, butter, and it's gonna be canned milk or something because I don't actually have milk in the fridge. Um, so yeah, I think salad shady. I don't really have any mercy for him. Uh, I'm just here for the when the Hindenburg goes down. Um, let's see. Uh, so, okay. So I was talking about the, the blue tarp window, how they showed that, you know, and they had the, the mannequin hand in there flipping it. When they open that thing, here's what I think this thing is. How she said, oh, it's part of the building, but I don't want people seeing in here and stuff. I think that's Chantel just trying to cope. Uh, what I feel it is just from the look of it, um, is I think it's some kind of access to, I don't know if it's under the, the building or, or to the pipes or something, you know, and how a lot of places have access hatches and stuff. And I think they just happened to put a, put a window in there because it's what they had. The place is not put together with any like, hey, oh, we're going to make this really nice. It was, it looks like it was just slapped together. And so I personally think that that, blue tarp window is some kind of access point under the structure is kind of what it looked like to me because it was so incredibly dark in there and even if you had something back in there you see how haphazardly that blue tarp is taped over the window so nobody took the time to lovingly tape up a black tarp to make sure that you blocked out all sunlight because remember Chantal tried to say oh I just don't want people looking in here bish there is no window there. Nobody's looking in except for maybe the rats that are coming out of the drain in your bathroom. Just my opinion. What do you guys think? Yes, Marlena Dietrich, I agree with you. And that's the other thing. So do 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 we think that they are actually legally married? Like, I don't know on that. I think it was a little too quick, but... Let's see. Yeah, the drain in the bathroom. So I, I do. I think there's pipes and plumbing in the blue tarp window, and that's what's in there. So, um, okay, next thing I'm going to do is I need to do the, 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 the unsalted butter. You use three tablespoons of unsalted butter, three quarters of a cup of whole milk. I use canned milk and I mix a little water in with it. Uh, and, you know, and then your standard amount of two and a quarter teaspoon of this one calls for instant yeast. And I actually have some instant yeast, though. I usually use active yeast, two different things still kind of work the same. Active yeast tends to rise a little slower. No big deal. But I have some instant yeast that needs to get used up. So let me uh, make up. Actually, I have some heavy whipping cream that I need to use up. I will make my whole milk out of that. So, yeah, so I think, uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, still good. We're good. Um, so I think 
that access panel. And if I keep repeating myself, it's because my mind, I'm thinking about 20 different things at once. I'm trying to make cinnamon rolls. Mind you, this is called bad baking and questionable cooking. I am not good at these things. So let me see how much heavy cream I have. I need three quarters of a cup. Oh, yeah, I should be okay. Um, so, yeah, I think that's an access to under the house. And I, I don't think it's something that anybody else could see. And I really get a below ground vibe. Um, hey, Ratapus1337, thank you for showing up. Um, let me catch up and see if anybody, I, I don't want to just be rambling. Yeah, she had fruit flies in Canada, a thousand percent. All right. Um, let's see. So access, rat coming out of the drain. Uh, she tries to play it off like, oh, I love, you know, my hamster and a rat is basically a mouse. No, it's not. <laughs> Very different. Rats actually leave, like, grease and scent and stuff everywhere. They're known to carry diseases that are easily transferable to human beings. And it is such a dry place that they are that if you have actual rats that says that it is dark, there's a food source, uh, and it's probably kind of, there's a water source, too. So um, does anybody else get the feeling like that... I, I can't remember, in the kitchen, when we went in and we saw the kitchen the one time, do you remember, was there a window really high up on the left side, or was that just a vent? It seems to me like there was a vent or a window or something for, you know, getting the fumes out of that kitchen. Let me know. I, I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure that there was a fan or something. Yeah, Capone Boxer says the rats are either really smart or the feral cats are really bad at hunting, right? <laughs> so, um, so, yep. I meant to do that. Yeah, the place is old. Uh, the doors look old. The, the, the patch job on the walls, um, like, <laughs> I can't believe I just hit myself in the Hold on, let me, um, let me see if, okay, I took a, another screenshot, like I said, I'm not trying to be the person that shows like a billion screenshots, but there were just some really, the, 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 the walls are in bad shape, you know, the, and even though they were bragging about getting the people with the kids kicked out, um, you know, scummy move. Uh, but the place, the place, place, you know, Chantal doesn't mind this humble abode, but for somebody who has money, you know what I mean? It's like the place is not, it, there, there are huge patches in the wall, there's dirt, uh, there are holes, the, it looks like shoddy uh, and patched drywall, it's just not a good look. Yeah, a sewer rat could come out of the toilet next. Let's see, what did Dak say? Sounds like the place is old. Aren't yeah, exactly. I think I said that. So, okay. We've got that. So let me make this. So this is just some leftover heavy cream. I need to make it into three quarters cup. Sorry, this might be loud for a minute. I got to run the water because I left this in the fridge and I don't want this completely. All right. I got this up to three quarters of a cup. I think, uh, let me add a little more water to that. All right. Yeah, baking is like chemistry. I know I say this every time, but it is. It's like chemistry. There's no room for, you don't want to wing it with baking. Well, you can wing it all you want, and then you'll just end up with not what you wanted. So... All right, three quarters cup cream, or excuse me, whole milk. And then I have some um, unsalted butter. If you are going to use salted butter, that's fine. You just, you know, use a little less salt. Like, what is it like? It's worth like, I think you get like a quarter teaspoon of salt is the amount that's in a stick of butter which is um 
half a cup of butter. So uh, if you have salted butter, then you wouldn't add half a teaspoon of salt. It would be more like a quarter teaspoon salt to this mixture. It's six of this, half a dozen the other. It's not going to break the bank. No big deal. So, okay, let me get this out. Okay, got that. And now I need to get three tablespoons. One, two, three. All right, one, two, three. I'm going to use the microwave. But, yeah, it's just, it's a little shady. The the access hatch, Sean Traub trying to talk the place up. Oh, and what do you guys think? Do you think uh, Salad actually lives there? I honestly don't think he actually lives there. Uh, just Just from where she was sitting the other night, and when they tried to pretend he came out of the bedroom, because if she's sitting against the wall here, she was not sitting on the couch looking at the front door. Seems like she was sitting at the one there, and she literally looked up, because the, the door's here. The bedroom's the other way. So did he come out from the bedroom, walk all the way in front of her field of vision over to the front door? It just doesn't make sense. Make it make sense. Chantal, uh, at first and foremost, as we all know, Chantal lies. Chantal lies. You know? So, and the reason we're going over this stuff, if somebody's rolling in, it's like, why are you sitting here, you know, discussing her and blah, blah, blah. Because you know what? I'm all in at this point. I'm invested. And she is, I truly believe, she's a terrible human being. The animal abuse and everything she's said and done. Um, and so, yeah, and it, it has nothing. Chantal is not vile and disgusting and ugly. You know, her shape is most unfortunate. Her her disingenuous misinformation about health issues, disgusting. Um, but what, what, what truly makes Chantal just disgusting is, is her utter lack of self-awareness and self-centered bullshit. You know, she's just gross. And the hypocrisy, like the irony of the things she says and the utter hypocrisy. So, oh, and she was going off. So I'm going to throw this in the microwave for like, I don't know, 20, oh shit, that shoot, shoot, that's, no, I don't want two minutes. Okay, I just want to melt the butter. But, uh, like, what was Chantal? She, Chantal in tonight's live, she was going on like half the world's fat. Half the world's fat. What are you people talking about? No, Chantal. Uh, first and foremost, to be considered fat, you need to be about 20 pounds overweight. Sure, half the world's fat. Fat, 20 pounds overweight, is different than super morbidly obese. You know, somebody that's five foot one, that at the most, really a healthy weight, about 100 or 105 pounds, you know, uh, who is weighing 400 pounds. It's a straw man argument. It's apples and oranges. You know, it's like, do you actually believe the bullshit that falls out of your mouth? You know, make it make sense. So those are two different things. It's really apples and oranges. And she's talking about how she can't just because she can't sit cross legged, you know, uh, and she decided to lay down and eat sideways doesn't make uh, doesn't make me a bad person. No, it doesn't make you a bad person, Chantal. But uh, it might make you, you know, a cautionary tale against gluttony and sloth. Because not only did you sit there, and I am going to use Job of the Hut, you know, all be to Chewbacca, Han Solo, you know. Um, I keep saying, you know, I'm really trying to break that habit. But for her to say that, and I, I think she could have got away with it. Like, if she was overweight... Stop being so gross about being overweight and calling everybody else fat and gross and saying she's not prettier than 90% of the internet. Um, she might be able to get away with it. But the fact of the matter is, is not only did she sit there like the queen of Sheba, which she isn't, her her eating, she it, it is like a toddler. She's a 40-year-old toddler. I mean, she was um, not using proper eating technique. You know, first of all, you don't use your left hand, but... It, you use, you know, like this, and you take enough where you can get in your mouth and nothing falls out. And she was literally just shoveling it in, you know, a platter of food for six people. And she's shoveling it in, tilting her head back, which salad's given up on telling her we don't do that. Uh, and just rice falling everywhere and just completely 
not self-aware. Um, because, you know, when you, it's like becoming nose blind or, you know, you've got boxes stacked up around your house. You're like, yeah, I need to go through those. And then you just kind of get used to seeing it and, and you stop noticing it. I think she's been eating like this for so long that it's just normal to have food all over the front of you and all the way around you. It's not cute. It's not quirky. It is embarrassing and kind of insulting, you know? Like you're sitting here LARPing as this, you know, devout Muslim woman and just completely disregarding all social conventions. And you cannot claim at this point ignorance to these points. This is willful ignorance. You are choosing to ignore these things because you're lazy. Once again, sloth and gluttony. Uh, yeah, job of the hut. Exactly, holy moly. Yeah, and that's something else. So Pete's hopped on that scale, and it was 65 to 80 pounds off again, even when he redid it. So I really think when she got on, it was like, you know, weight is 336 pounds. I would say minimum add 65 pounds to that. She's a solid 400, I would guess at this point. I'm going to heat this up just to scotch more. You don't want to boil this, but you need it, you know, slightly. You need the butter and everything mixed so I can add the yeast. Yeah, job of the gun. Exactly, Laura. So hopefully I haven't scared. Yeah, for 400, 4, 425, I mean, she's three. she's 350 pounds. I'm a virgin. Ask my kid about that. Fish, please. Oh, shoot. Okay, hopefully it's not boiling. All right. Um, what did I do with my fork? Oh, okay. Yeah, so I need to make sure this is warm enough because this in this slurry I will be... Oh, I probably should have pulled the egg out and warmed it up too. Oops. Like I said, as usual, not well planned out. Okay. I always have a ridiculous amount of eggs in my fridge. Like, I'm an eggaholic. So, uh, so yeah, that's that, that whole eating thing. Uh, and it, and I, I've seen several comments that actually those sit down style individual room type things aren't as common as you think in the Middle East. So it's almost like salad, you know, like, is he trying to keep her hidden or is it because that's what she wants? I think it's a mixture of both. Uh, just my opinion. Didn't salad put plastic down? around her at their first place. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she, and from what I understand, and like I said, am I from the Middle East? No. Do I completely understand the culture? No, but I have an extremely close friends, uh, on the, when I was on the East coast living and stuff and working over there uh, that were from the Middle East. Uh, you know, I took a ridiculous amount of like, Middle Eastern studies classes. And so I think, you know, putting the, the plastic down like that, sure, when you're out at a picnic or maybe when you have like a big family gathering or at restaurants, but just to put it down when your wife sits down to eat, I don't know, it's kind of sus. Anybody Middle Eastern in here have any? Hey, EP, let me know. Let me know. Like, is that sus? I don't know. It seemed a little sus to me. Okay. My hands are clean. Okay. So you want warm milk? Butter slurry to add two and a quarter teaspoons of, that's a quarter, that's a teaspoon, three teaspoons equal a tablespoon. Uh, yeah, let me go like this. So, what did I say, two and a quarter, so one teaspoon. Two teaspoon and anybody just rolling in the reason I'm sitting down is because I can't get my head in the frame and if I tilt the camera up then you can't see what I'm doing which kind of defeats the purpose of talking and cooking all right so this can this sits aside for a minute I let this rest and then first I, I really should have been whisking that in I didn't sucks to be me because now I need to get the whisk out and whisk the heck out of this because I need to get one of those little tiny whisks. Um, the Alpha and the Omega. Hello, if I didn't say hi. So 
So, yeah, her eating at that restaurant was just disgusting. Her, her LARPing as a Middle Eastern Muslim woman, disgusting. Her trying to, you know, continually downgrade and misinform Salah about, you know, health care and other things in uh, Canada and North America, disgusting. You know, keep on chirping, pheasant. See how that works out for you, Chantal. Uh, let's see. Boop, boop, boop. Um, Oh, and then when Chantal is saying, oh, if I'm 800 pounds, I don't care. All reactors are fat with fupas. No, that's not true. I'm not going to sit here in A-log, you know, against Chantal and be like, I'm better than you because I'm thin. I, I cannot stand it <laughs> when reaction channels do that. That's my personal preference. If that's how somebody rolls, that's great. Not my style. Uh, but... No, not everybody that reacts to you is fat with a fupa. Though I will say, what does everybody think about um, this new person on TikTok, Milky Chai? I appreciate her calling Chantal out. I question her motives. Like, um, I get virtue signaling vibes from it. And like, yeah, Chantal needs to be called out across all platforms wholesale for her horrible behavior, especially the animal neglect and abuse. Uh, Milky Chai did not bother to get a lot of the facts straight, but she got the animal neglect part mostly right. You know, so we, we've got that. Um, do I think maybe she's filming this also to get views? Oh, yeah, I think so. And uh, no shade. I'm not painting with broad generalizing strokes, but I will say in general that Zoomers are a humorless uh, group of individuals like on, the ones on TikTok and Twitter and stuff like that. They just don't have they have no sense of humor, no sense of irony, not a lot of sarcasm. Well, they have a little bit of sarcasm, but it eh, doesn't hit right. And so, um, but yeah, I, facts wrong or not, I am glad Milky Chai has made TikTok aware because I really think Chantal thought she was going to scuttle off over there. It's like, you know, Chantal, check it out, buttercup. You are a middle-aged woman. You have no business being on TikTok. Stay here with all the old people here on YouTube, for God's sake. Um, let's see. So I've got this. So while this is kind of resting for a minute, I'm going to do the filling so the filling for this for the cinnamon rolls is um three tablespoons of the softened unsalted butter once again if you only have salted butter do what i said before third cup uh brown sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon so three quarters cup and so you don't add the butter in you you make the the cinnamon brown sugar mixture and then the softened butter you will smear out on the dough when it's done so let me see what chat's saying oh thanks capone boxer yeah i i try not to make it look like i i'm sitting but yeah if i stand up it's <laughs> let's see yeah i you know what and like i said bobbleheaded disco biscuit i'm not trying to bad mouth milky chai i'm just one of those weirdos that like i get irritated when new so here's what it is it seems like me defending myself for kind of smack talk i wasn't smack talking milky chai what it is is have it have you guys noticed that so many new reactors have been flooding onto youtube you know because you can get views for that but a lot of them really don't have the facts state and it's just irritating like they're new to the game they are not part of girl world it's just they're chasing views and money and stuff it's irritating you know, and so I just got done being fed a bunch of just irrelevant irre drivel in my, you know, recommended section by the YouTube algorithm. And then I see what Milky Chai is doing. And overall, she's got the big picture right, but she's got some facts wrong. So I instantly got really irritated, like, oh, for fuck's sake. You know, these are just very simple things. Do a little research. But I have to remember you know, she probably just wants the views, and it seems like she just wants to call Chantal out for the animal abuse. So, bravo. Not even a slow clap. Just good job, Milky Chai. I am. I'm grateful for that. And I hope um, they keep calling her out over there because she doesn't deserve. And, you know, and I don't know if Chantal thinks she's going to get uh, monetized. Like, she's not going to make any money on TikTok. Yeah, Foodie Beauty's name makes the coin. Hi, Janine T. Good to see you. 
Yeah, uh, Janine T says it must be embarrassing for him to have a wife who can't eat like a regular person who must keep her away from his family as much as possible. Yeah, Milky said she's been watching for almost two years. Well, Desiree, yeah, if she's been watching. Well, and that's just it. For the last two years, we've had like the villa arc, but there's so much backstory there. You know, like, does she have an eating disorder? Doesn't she? I can remember sitting in her car. I think it was April 2017 talking about how she fired another doctor because she wanted the diagnosis of an eating disorder and he would not agree to that. So she fired that doctor. So it's these kind of things. Have you noticed recently in the last few days, Chantal's talking about, you don't know how hard it is with an eating disorder, Bish? I don't think you've been diagnosed with an eating disorder because shortly after you fired those doctors, et cetera, et cetera, you were busy trying to deal with your ovarian cysts uh, by curing them with your juice fast. You got that surgery, BB broke up with you and you moved out. So uh, once again, I don't think Chantal, from what she's laid out amongst all those deleted videos, I don't think she got diagnosed with an eating disorder, but it's easy. It's easier to say that. Uh, and she started using that royal we again. Like, we don't know we're fat. Like, you know, what was it? Like, we don't know we're fat. Like, we don't know we overeat. Who's this we? You know, like they say, do you got a turd in your pocket? You know, it's not royal we. She does that because by saying that, and she always calls up Amber Lynn's name when she's doing that, you know. Like, ALR, it's like, look, this is not just about your overeating or your need to have a, uh, a, a diagnosis that says eating disorder so you have another reason. It's like, no. Believe it or not, guys, not everything has a diagnosis. Some people are just assholes because they're assholes. Some people just overeat because they're gluttonous. Some people are lazy because they are very slothy in nature. You know, not everything is a mental health diagnosis my opinion so um do i think at this point chantal has is going batshit crazy yeah you know i'm uh, pretty sure she's not on those uh mood stabilizers anymore so third of a cup like i said of packed brown sugar so you don't want to pack the flour when you make the dough but you definitely want to pack the the brown sugar for the um filling and then a tablespoon of cinnamon cinnamon i've been practicing usually i can't say it when i think about it but i've been practicing saying cinnamon 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 yeah cinnamon. tablespoon i'll write it let's see yeah foodie beauty to oversaturating girl world well there's so many new ones it's just getting ridiculous, just like ALR. Yeah, it's like people, now that she's getting wider notoriety, there's such an influx, and it's just, and a lot of them are just not very good, I'm going to be honest. Like, literally, it's getting harder and harder to find a channel where they just kind of recap or just show, you know, the highlights from Chantal's, it, it, you know, all it's... Uh, a 20-minute video turns into, you know, a four-hour stream, and it's just... It's getting to be a little excessive, my opinion. So, and they're all doing that now. It's a bomber. It's like, okay, so that's it. I can't get my tablespoon in there, so I'm going to do three teaspoons because three teaspoons, which is five milliliters, equals one tablespoon, which is um, 15 milliliters. Two. I'm making a huge mess. Sorry, I'm just, I'm all over the place. I know it. All right, three. Uh, so let's see, we talked about that. Salad. I have got some notes. Oh, we already talked about the iPhone. Oh, and then, yeah, so uh, she's talking about, and she did bring up, just because I can't sit down and cross my legs, we talked about that. She's a cautionary tale. Uh, and that's the other thing, like Chantal is getting more and more ragey. Like how many people do you know that are a well-adjusted human being that is happily and newly married? So like, what, what was it she said today? I wrote it down. Uh, let's see. Oh, losers spend the majority of their days, you know, hating on other people. Ma'am, Chantal, you know, for every hour streamed, 
seventy percent of it is spent raging at FFG, and occasionally she still goes off on Natter. So it's like monkey see, monkey do, or what? What's good for the goose isn't good for the gander. Whatever one of those metaphors or whatever they are, it's like she's just the utter hypocrisy. You know, oh, and then what was else was it that she said it was like, well, I don't know about you guys, but you know, what was it? I'm still standing and I'll, I always will. Like she said that, like, you know, for all these channels that come and go and all this stuff, I'm still standing and I always will. Once again, I think that there's a very short timeline for how much longer Chantal can actually stand to do anything. She has put on weight in the Middle East. She's not been wearing normal pants and stuff. Because, you know, let's face it, when you're used to wearing jeans and you get constriction, y you realize that, uh, you know, things are getting tight. Maybe I need to slow down. I don't think she cares about that at all. So I think she's super large. Do I think Chantal could even find pants that she could actually comfortably squeeze into anymore? No, no. She's, she's going to need to stick with skirts or dresses. And she's going to have to order from Torrid. I mean, she's actually hitting that weight class where it's going to, you know, unless, it, here's me being mean, unless she's going to go to like, I don't know, North Face has a tent sale and she cuts a hole in it and throws it over her. I mean, she's literally getting that big. And she's she's been seeing herself through those filters for so long uh, that, you know, and she keeps saying she's so happy with her size. Nobody that complains as much as she does online and is this raging is is happy, you know. So, okay, let me see what chat's saying. Participation trophy. Yes, mental health issues can be a reason, but not an excuse. Exactly. And I'll say this. Mental health issues are not your fault. Mental health issues, true mental health issues are never your fault, but they are always your responsibility. It's not a get out of jail free. Even if you're severely mentally ill, unless you're found like not competent to stand trial, you're still considered responsible for your actions, you know? And it's like Chantal, the Cuba rage. Oh, I didn't know what I was saying when I was drunk. I'm sorry. Sober thoughts are drunk words. So there's a thought for you. Okay. Um, all right. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to start stirring my yeast mix. God, I hope this yeast is still good. It's really going to suck if it isn't. So I'm going to start mixing it in with this handle of a broken wooden spoon. Let's see, she couldn't put up a one step exactly. I know that curve she was going to outside. Yeah, she's going to outside Torrid. And, it, like, truly, truly. And, uh, like, Amber. Amber's getting dresses that are fitting his shirts at this point. And Chantal's sh shape and that uh, that fat sack that hangs down is, is like, it, you know, it's gravity. I always say this. It's not just a good idea. It's the law. It's really getting to be a problem. That thing is hanging lower and lower when she was sitting sideways at that restaurant she couldn't even put her legs together because uh she's got this huge you know apron that hangs down and then below that where her like pubis mons would be there's such an amount of fat that's hanging down that it's just the most unfortunate shape and she just keeps eating um let's see what did janet say she said that eating makes her happy. If she is happy, married, why doesn't she need the... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. This, and, and like I said, I'm actually at a loss for words for a hot minute. Where's my... There it is. Happy people, you know. Oh, and she was going on, like, why, why, do, why, do, why, why do people, like... And here she is, you know, roundabout trying to hint that to her new newer audience members that she has uh, an eating disorder. Why do people with eating disorders need to make sure they got it under control before they get weight loss surgery? Okay. Because the fat will come back and cause more problems and they're not going to spend money on that. Number two, I don't think Chantal has an eating disorder. People can just be gluttonous. You know, she Chantal has said in the past she has fired doctors for not giving her that diagnosis and she really wanted an eating disorder diagnosis. So in County, it is almost at her knees. It is uh yeah. 
She keeps talking about fupas. Like, oh, fupas are sexy. It means fat upper pussy area. And it was always an insult for Gen X. So I don't know what she's doing as little miss, you know, elderly millennial trying to make it cool. No, it's not cool. It's a sign of really unhealthy living. All right. I got the cinnamon rolls. Okay, now. Oh, shit, I forgot to put the egg in. Oops. Where'd that egg go? Oh, there it is. Oh, darn it. I almost got the, the dough done. I'm so busy ranting. I forget. All right. Now I got to try to mix the egg in with the nearly complete egg dough or nearly complete dough. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll incorporate. Hey, Bali. Good to see you. Thank you for showing up. Hey, puppy breath. Good to see you. I said hello to Desiree. Yeah, happy St. Paddock's Day to everybody. Anybody that knows me knows my real name is, like I said, I'm Irish. <laughs> like, relatives off the boat, Irish. <sighs> oh, this is just making a sloppy mess, man. Um, how do I incorporate this egg now that I forgot? I'm going to use a fork and see if I can't, because it's making like that slimy. Oh, God, I'm a moron. Maybe I'll add some more flour. I should have added and incorporated the egg while I was stirring in the yeast mixture, but I was so busy smack talking that I forgot. Okay, it's incorporating pretty good. It's pretty sticky, but that's okay. Okay. I'm throwing stuff everywhere. Exactly, Bali Chicken. It was cool just to hang out. It's a Friday night. It's sad but true. The amount of people out driving hammer tonight, at least in the United States, is going to be ridiculous. So it's better to stay home wherever you are. If you're someplace where they sell it, well, and just on weekends in general, it's a lot more dangerous. Um... Okay, I'm going to add a tiny bit more flour to this because, so you want it to be a little sticky, but this is like beyond sticky. This is some next level, and it's so sticky, I can't even deal with uh, getting into my flour jar there, so I'm going to grab my little extra thing of flour. I don't know if you can hear me from over here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stand up for a minute because my back is actually starting to really kill me from sitting down. Okay, a little bit more flour. Um, smack talk and baking, right? Oh, and that's something else. Chantal, you know, for somebody so, like, she, oh, I think I wrote something down somewhere, but... They're right on the back of, I've got stuff taped to the wall, but, um, oh, did you hear tonight where she was saying to her chat, like, everybody go report Missy Moo. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, she's not kidding. Like, she's seriously trying to, oh, and the other thing where she accidentally left her chat open, I'm sorry, but when it comes to that, Chantal makes, she's got that, make sure she has that chat on lockdown before she even goes live. I think it's because her chat has been dying. She can't get very many abuser, uh, abusers, she's the abuser, uh, viewers in there. Like tonight, FFG had, what, 5.1 thousand people watching her? Chantal had, like, what, 639. So I think uh, yesterday when she left her chat open, it was intentional. She is trying to attract more people to her chat. My opinion, you know, I don't think it was accidental at all. I really don't. I think as much as she says, and do I think Chantal's going to go broke, broke? No, she still gets enough views, you know, that that she's not going to be broke. And probably by like your standard uh, income in, in North America, she's probably still doing OK. Not as well as she could be because Kuwait four times as expensive. But, you know, overall, compared to. You know, people living in, in North America that are on food stamps and things like that. Yeah, she's doing okay, but she's not going to be able to continue. She's not going to be able to do what she used to do, you know. Um, and I, 
you know, I'm sure Salad is like, save, save, save. I'm not even going to get into that whole Missy Moo thing. What do I think about Missy Moo? I think Missy Moo's a piece of shit. You know, she was just so horrible and so eager uh, to, to, to be that cool guy and Chin's chat that she doesn't get to now after the fact, now that they've fallen out, you know, start trying to like be buddy, buddy with hater nation or, you know, whatever. I don't know. It's like, no, it's a hard pass for me. Buttercup. Let's see. Clucky. Um, okay. So I'm going to let this sit for just a minute. This needs to rest. I'm going to get it. I have to put this in a, uh, I'm in a buttered bowl and just let it rest. Rest. Oh, wait, no, first I have to knead it. Sorry, I got to knead it. And then you got to, you have to let it rest. So by kneading it, um, when you knead it, it gets the gluten in it. So it's all lined up. So you get nice fluffier type bread and then you let it rest. So it really, you know, does what it's going to do. Sorry, I'm spending all my time talking. Let me, I think I'm going to need, I've just got too many things going on. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I have no sympathy for Missy Moo. She can, uh, excuse my French, fuck all the way off and die. Oh, speaking off the fucking off and dying, uh, Salad talked about how he's going to beat McStabby's ass. Okay. Bottom line, I cannot stand that or dude is a scumbag, but he's a scumbag. Like, you know, he is what he is. Uh, Salad trying to talk about how he's going to, you know, kick his butt and stuff like that. Never happened. I put all my money on uh, McStabby. Second of all, Chantal saying FFG's just lucky. Just lucky we don't meet up. Once again, I put all my money on FFG, Chantal. Chantal is a keyboard warrior. She is all talk, no do. We've seen what happens face to face. Chantal couldn't beat her way out of a wet paper bag if her life depended on it. Okay, I'm adding a little more flour. Hmm, I'm looking at chat. Yeah, salads of just a punk. I would pay money to be a fly on the wall, though, if FFG and Chantal actually met up on the street. Not in some place where you need to behave civilly, because you know what? Some people, as, you know, you don't go into public venues and start swinging or smack talking. You know, I, I just can't see FFG being the kind of person that's going to do that. So, of course, she was going to be pleasant at a public gathering at the uh, that fashion show. Okay, I'm supposed to, I got a need for, why do I keep putting the lid on my flower? Oh, shit. Seems like there's supposed to be vanilla in this. Or just the vanilla. Or no, there isn't vanilla in the cinnamon roll. So why do I have vanilla out? I have no idea. Um, okay, so now I got a need for um, about three minutes. And when you need, the way I do it is you use the heel of your hand and you push it out, fold it back in, turn it 90 degrees, and you keep doing that. And you're trying to get the gluten strands to line up. Why? Fucking chemistry. So let's see what time is it. Can somebody start hollering at me and shout when uh, the three minutes is up? But so I got to focus on this. But yeah, keep chatting. So it's just frustrating. Chantal is really seems like she's getting more and more bold. Uh, I do think so, her health is going to give sooner rather than later. I really don't think that. Um, you know, she can keep going the way she is. She's, um, you know, getting back on the plane when that comes around. And did you hear her talking about how she, you know, can't wait to become a Kuwaiti citizen so she can not pay all her money for taxes and stuff? Because, yeah, why pay for schools and post offices and all the things you've benefited from all these years without paying your fair share, right, Chantal? God, so self-centered. I just feel like people like her, just, I want to slap the smug off of her face. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Oh, yeah, but don't forget, guys, there's no homelessness in Kuwait. Right. 
Yes. I, sorry. Yeah. Capone boxer. I didn't mean to say a citizen. She can never become a citizen, a resident. She wants to be a resident. I apologize. I misspoke while I'm ranting. Yeah. She can't ever become a citizen. Salad can't ever become a citizen. Kuwait is extremely uh, strict on that. And I suspect it has a lot to do with the oil revenue and stuff like that. Uh, if I overneed it, it can get kind of chewy. It can happen, but it's pretty hard to overneed the cinnamon rolls because unlike bread, you know, bread, you want to get like a super good rice and you want it fluffy and airy. Cinnamon rolls, it's not as big of a deal. I, I would be worried about underneading versus overneading, but uh, I'm not super good with the science of it. I guess I could, like, I understand in my head. I can't explain it, but I suppose I can uh, Google it. But yeah, you don't want to overneed your bread ever. And then there are some things um, like biscuits. You don't really want to handle biscuits at all because of the texture you want with them. You don't. You really don't want to manhandle the biscuits. Somebody can explain. Hey, Stephanie. Hello. Are you at work? Let's see if anybody can explain better than me in chat as to why we how the overneeding affects it just it's a gluten thing let's see how long have i been doing this okay i'm getting close so yeah you just smoosh it out 90 degrees smoosh it out 90 degrees smoosh it out 90 degrees all right i think i've got so let me get a grease bowl to set this in and let it sit. God, I pray I'm doing this in the right order. I'm just go. I'm winging it, guys. Uh, I guess I can just let it. Well, no, I don't want to let it rest in there. Here, hold on. Okay. Um, I think I might hear Mr. Grebo. So if he comes in, says anything inappropriate, just didn't hear anything. I have no control over that one. One more minute, holy moly, keep keep needing for another minute. Is that what you mean? Let me know in chat. It's supposed to be about three minutes. If I'm overneeding, somebody say something now. It's got to be at least three minutes. Oh, I had one minute left. Okay, well, it won't hurt it. It's not, it's not overly hard to need. Oh, geez. Hold on. Don't say anything ridiculous, please. Do you want to come say hi? No? Come say hi. Mr. Grebo's home. I'm not sure which bike he rode, because he has two of them. Here, come over here and say hi. I swear to God, he is not... Nice. <laughs> yeah. I am nice. Yes, he's just wonderful. He got a big old ball of dough. Thinking about Chantal and his super balls. Love you. All right. I'm going to let this rest. Oh, I hope I'm doing this right. So that needs to rest. Okay, for 10 minutes. Okay, I'm going to set that there. And then what I got to do is kind of clean this mess up a little bit so I can get ready to what's going to happen is I'll roll out and put the filling and the cinnamon rolls, cut them. And I got to put them and then they got to uh, rise for like an hour. So then I'll make the, the white crap trash tuna noodle casserole because at some point Mr. Grubo is going to want to eat. So let's see. Hey, Jarella, good to see you. Let's see. 
Hey, Jojo B. Hello, Jojo B. Thank you for showing up. Hanging out on the internet with 43 of my closest friends complaining about Chantal and her ridiculosity, right? God, she's just, she's, it's to the point where, like, like, I, sometimes I just can't, like, it just, ugh. And has anybody else noticed, like, she really doesn't have anything to talk about anymore. She is just repeating the same old, um, so, like, the, the cat rage. When she found out about BBJ, that was true rage. She was livid. She didn't even have words. She was sputtering. Um, what she's doing now, this isn't rage. This is manufactured drama for views because, you know, Chantal's an idiot. But she's not stupid, if that makes sense. So, but it's not believable. And it's just the same old, same old, you know, nothing new. Everybody's getting really tired of it. All right. Um, let me rinse these things real quick. Well, actually, no, I don't need to rinse anything. I just need to get this stuff out of the way. Oh, I got to cover my... Uh, I'm going to turn the oven on. So what I'm going to do is turn my oven up to like 175 and preheat it just a little bit. And then so it's, you know, it's like 100 degrees in there. So when I let the cinnamon rolls rise, I got a nice warm environment. For God's sake, don't let the rack get super hot because you will murder your little baby yeast. And I'm questioning if my baby yeast are even alive. So, all right, I'm letting this rest. Okay, put this, this, this. This brown sugar. Okay, I'm going to put this stuff up real quick. Talk amongst yourselves. I said hello to Jarella, to Jojo B. Hey, Ponderous Pros, good to see you. Yeah, so Ponderous Pros says, I absolutely think the recent Missy Moo drama was manufactured. I love cinnamon rolls too, uh, Laura. Yeah, it's like I said, um, it was earlier, is it? How do you go from being that big of a stan to, like, did they get irritated or is this manufactured for views? What do you think? I just, I'm, mm, frustrating. What's everybody think? Do you think it's manufactured? I don't know. Can you hear me when I'm over here putting stuff up in the closet? I don't know. I don't know. This, got that, got this, got this, and this. Okay. Trying to get everything all stacked up. A little bit easier to soak. Um, okay, we don't have a ton more to do. Like I said, we're doing cinnamon rolls while they're raising. We'll make uh, the tuna noodle casserole. I am not making homemade uh, gravy. I am doing, you know, the cream of mushroom soup type. Seriously, all canned goods type. Tuna no casserole, like kind of stuff we used to make on the, the boat growing up in Alaska because you didn't have anything fresh when you've been out on a boat for weeks and months on end. We're out at a logging camp, so yeah, everything's canned. All right, I got that. I gotta just let it sit. I gotta, I gotta get the butter melted too. So, well, so you need another three quarters cup of unsalted butter because I'm gonna smear it on the dough so I can sprinkle the topping on it. But you don't want, like, you can have it melted, and I, I usually end up melting it, but it can kind of slop out the end. So if you just have it really soft, you can kind of smear it around more and it kind of stays in place a little better. But not always. Let me see, how many teaspoons is this? One, two, how much is left here? Uh, one, two, three. All right, three more tablespoons, and then I have this left, and I have to deal with a tiny bit. All right, um, let me set this here. Right. I'll check chat in just a second. I think, oh. 
All right. I have no idea. I'm so bad at this microwave. I just guess. So, yes. There we go. Okay. Chat says, oh, good. Thanks, puppy breath. I'm glad you can hear me. Just pose. I don't trust anyone. Yeah, I don't trust Missy. I just really don't. Did Chantal's son give her the key for a day pass? Oh, and that's something else. Hey, loyal warrior. Good to see you. Um, something else where she was saying, like, oh, I didn't even know. I think there's two keys to the place. I think she probably just said, oh, I don't want it or something. Or it's left in the door, you know. Or it's sitting there somewhere. I just really think her trying to pretend she gets locked in there is for drama. And, well, so much for it just being soft. I kind of melted it. Yeah, that's cool. So I think that, I just, I just feel that that was just drama. That was just Chantal, you know, once again, desperate for views. Okay. Talk amongst yourselves. I need to try to clean up this mess just a tiny bit because it's driving me crazy. Shit. I meant to do that. Oh, wait. You couldn't see that. It's fine. Nothing to see here. Okay. I'm going to uncover my stove so I can also be doing... Make the tuna noodle casserole. Is the stove top clean? No. No, I didn't even bother wiping it down. I do think I'm, I'm going to treat myself to a Diet Pepsi, though. So I'm going to go run and grab it just because... Yeah, I could use some caffeine. It's been a long day. Steph, let's see, Stephanie, let's see, hi, it's, oh, hey, Ray Ray, I didn't see you in here, I apologize, so, hello, welcome, Ray Ray, uh, it's, it's just Ray, we call her Ray Ray, so, all right, let me grab the stuff I need, like the Diet Pepsi for the caffeine, and we'll get going on, well, I'll get the, the water and stuff ready, and then, does anybody remember how, I, this needed to rest for 10 minutes, anybody remember how long it's been, let me know in chat, has it been, has it been 10 minutes, it feels like it's not quite 10 minutes yet, okay, grabbing my Diet Pepsi, I don't know if my headphones work clear over here, let me know, shit, there's no Diet Pepsi, ah, Okay, hold on. I gotta go outside. Mr. Grebo's been drinking all my, uh, Mr. Grebo's been into the My Diet Pepsi. Uno momento. A di minuto, per volta. I don't know if you guys can hear me out here or not. Uh, let me know. Okay. Could you hear me out on the porch? You still hear me? Okay, well, that's good to know because you don't want to be like, oh, I'm away from my iPad. I guess I'll just sneakily pee while I'm in here and everybody in chat's like, oh my, how unfortunate. And also my chat is just a tiny bit behind the live stream. So does anybody know? Has it been 10 minutes? Ponders Pro says, foodie beauty is neither a foodie nor a beauty. Discuss amongst yourselves and avoid getting verklempt, right? Though I have to admit, the schadenfreude, I feel like there's a lot of people saying, she's like a cockroach. She goes through life with no consequences. Look at her life. There are consequences. When she was leading sideways like Jabba the Hutt or Queen of Sheba or whatever you know you wanted, Eating like a 40-year-old toddler, the hand, the arm she was leaning on was absolutely purple. There was not good circulation. And all it takes is a, is a cut for somebody, pre-diabetic or diabetic. Anybody doesn't know how diabetes works? Well, I'm sure everybody does, but it's like the glucose is like little shards of glass ripping through your the capillaries. Like the capillaries, you have what they call lupa henle. 
in your kidneys, which go down to a capillary that only a single red blood cell can pass through. Well, if you've got these shards, and that's what filters everything else, you've got the shards of sugar ripping through there, you're tearing that stuff up. You lose the filtration, you know, your eyes, such fine vasculature in your eyes, you know, blindness in your fingers and stuff. You don't feel when you get cut because you get the peripheral neuropathy. But on top of that, because you don't have good circulation, your white blood cells can't get there. So if you get an infection, you can get an invading army of God only knows what. And let's face it, Chantal does not bathe that often, so I can only imagine her viral, bacterial, and fungal load well above what a normal human being carries on their skin on a daily basis. But that's just me. Let's see. No food is worth your body. None. Exactly. Jarella. Like, um, you know, we always used to joke in high school, nothing tastes as good as skinny fills. But realistically, when you start getting older, you know, there are some things there are no coming back from, you know, you get a finger or five cut off. There's no coming back from that. So, and just the other night she was absolutely breathless. Just from laughing, she was breathless. For 15 seconds of laughing, she was breathless. Do I think part of it is because she has this cold, this chest congestion? Yeah, but she's got 300 pounds pushing down on her lungs on top of that. And, um, oh, bring up the, the, the kitchen chair. Remind me after I get everything ready for um, making the, the tuna milk casserole. Let's talk about the kitchen chair or lack thereof. Uh, yeah, holy moly, Danny. <laughs> Opinions and Science by Great Grebo. Yeah, I used to TA, actually, biochemistry and genetics, all the, a lot of genetics uh, at university. I'm really good with genetics if anybody wants to talk about CRISPRs or DNA oxygenase or anything like that. Or if anybody even wants, yeah, anyway, I don't want to get into that, but it's a skill. All right, has, has this been resting for 10 minutes? Salad takes a breath, right? Her diaphragm is compressed by all that fat. Exactly, Jarrell. <coughs> like, <coughs> <coughs> okay. If anybody knows, has it been 10 minutes? Yes? Okay, good. I will stop asking. Like the moron I am. I probably should have a timer for this stuff. Um, oh, I put up my flower. God, I'm so busy trying to clean up. It's okay. We're going to get this rolled out. We're going to get them. We're going to get them in their little pan raising. And then the two noodle casserole will be super quick. And then we can talk about uh, Chantal cooking. Bring up the kitchen chair, or the non-existent kitchen chair. Let's see. Sound good. Hold on. What the hell was that? Oh, my yeast committed suicide or unalived itself. Bad yeast. No brownies. Stay there. Okay. I'm back. Sorry. Let's see what Stephanie. She has a camel hump. She does. She's getting a. Because you can get what they call a dowager's hump, which is from leaning forward, but that's a spinal curvature. She actually has a fat pad. And I, what is it? Um, it's not Addison's disease, uh, but it's related to Addison's disease where you get a fat pad back there. It's, it's a, I want to say an adrenal gland, uh, maybe parathyroid. Anyway, but that's not what this is. You know, all these people saying, oh, her face, it must be an abscess or lymphedema. I say this every time. It's not lymphedema. It's not lipedema. It's not an abscess tooth. At, people have bilateral symmetry. There's, it's very rare for people to have lateral symmetry. That's why people like Denzel or Denzel Washington and George Clooney and stuff are considered so handsome because they have excellent bilateral symmetry. It's actually fairly rare. And then the golden ratio of the face. But, so bilateral Symmetry, not a big thing. Number two, your body, when it's depositing fat, it's going to deposit where it's going to deposit. Reference Amy Slayton forehead bump. And so her body has ran out of places to put stuff. So it is stuffing fat wherever it can. I mean, her eyelids 
you know, in, in the orbits of her eyes, you know, her chi and everything. So yeah, it's going to, and if you already have bilateral asymmetry, it's just going to be exaggerated. The larger you get is, so that's Cushing's disease. Thank you, Prince, Princess Alyssa. Like, I'm like, it's not Addison. It's not Graves. It's not Hashimoto's. Cushing's. There you go. Thank you. So Cushing's disease, getting the fat pad deposited right there um, on your back. It's a thing. All right. So I need to roll this out. God, I hope this rises. I need to roll this out into an 8 inch by 14 inch. So I'll find my. Fuck is my roller. I will shank a bitch. Okay. There it is. I don't have to kill Mr. Grebo or anybody. They move things. They take things. They move things. Super frustrated. Cushings. Yep, Cushings. Thank you, guys. Oh, thank you, Jarella, too. You said Cushings also. So, yep, Cushings. <laughs> yeah, Chantal has Cushings, not Cushings. Am I body shaming her? A little bit. Why? Because it's a choice, and she's not choosing to do anything about it. Because addiction... You know, whether it's a food addiction at this point or your, your behavior. So here's here. I say this all the time. He, he, here's some information, Chantal. A thought not followed by an action means nothing happens. Woulda, coulda, shoulda, plans, plans, plans. Goals and plans are not the same as actions. She is all talk, no do. So I don't have a lot of sympathy for her at this point. You know, she is choosing to do this. And it's kind of disgusting. And just with her. And she's so painfully not self-aware. All right. I think I made this joke before. Do I know what eight inches looks like? No, because I've been told this is six inches my entire life. So I don't know. Just going to kind of guess. It needs to be eight inches-ish by 14 inches-ish. Sorry for any of the men in the chat. It was just a joke. Size doesn't matter. Okay, let's see what's chat saying. I know. Sorry, holy moly, I know, right? I've been sitting here too long. Uh, I gotta try to get this a little more. Okay, I got the 14 inches, but I need to try to get the, the 8 inches across. It's kind of thick on one side. There we go. I kind of cheat when I make this, too. I'll roll it in. I'll make it more square, and then I'll roll it out again. <clears throat> hold on. To make sure we get eight inches, hold on. I'm super anal about stuff like this. Wow, eight inches is actually pretty impressive. Um, okay, there we go. I had no idea. Um, okay. Let's chat scene. Go big or go home. Exactly, Stephanie. Mm. Well, we all know Natter doesn't know what eight inches looks like, right? Natter wouldn't know eight inches even when it did slap him upside the head in prison. That guy. All right, so I'm going to kind of roll this out and get it looking a little smoother and prettier. So, yeah, it, it, a square. I don't know if you can see it, but, you know, an 8-inch by 14-inch square. We'll look at chat in a minute. I'm too busy trying to get this looking decent. I am really bad at cinnamon. I'm well, I'm just really bad at baking in general. I just fake it. I'm not really a baker, I just play one on the internet a couple times a year. Alright. How long is that? Sorry about the banging. Oh my, yeah, that's 14. By the way. That's 14 inches. Okay, baby carrot, right? Speaking of Shanny, for Christ. 
Exactly, baking with friends. We're all friends here. I am too much of a perfectionist blondie. It's like I'm a Virgo and I, like, all kidding aside, I might be a little OCD. I don't know. I just, it has to be how it has to be. It drives me crazy. Plus, I learned the hard way that baking, like I said, I'm going to stand with my legs apart. Baking and cooking, I got, like, the first, when I tried to bake, I used to try to wing it like the cooking, and things went horribly, horribly wrong. So I got super paranoid about baking like it had to be perfect because I was so worried I'd spent so much time and energy trying to get this stuff made and it was just you know it wasn't working out all right so then like that let me get my little dollar store silicone they call this stuff dollar store it's amazing am I getting BPA you know plastics in my food probably at my age a lot of that stuff, uh, you know, it congregates in your reproductive organs and not reproducing, so I'm good. Okay, so I'm going to spread this on. That's what chat's saying. Yeah, Blondie, baking is like you can't just do a dash of this and a pinch of that because the chemistry of it is like, no, hard no, you know, and you'll just be left with God only knows what. I'm hoping my yeast is still alive. Did I proof it? No. Anybody new coming in? This is three tablespoons. It's supposed to be softened. I accidentally melted it. Uh, unsalted butter. Yeah, we've made it this far. Exactly, Blondie. Yeah, I, I like Natter really just like the whole Natter thing. I just, I cannot, I can't watch that guy. I want to punch the screen. I just, I have no tolerance for that buffoon. He's just some next level scummy. So there's only a little bit left in here. What I'll do is I'll leave it. So I'm going to take, this is a, uh, the three cups of brown sugar, tablespoon of cinnamon, cinnamon. See, now I'm thinking about it. I can't say it, but I, I said it right earlier because uh, I practiced saying it. And so you sprinkle it on. Gosh, can you guys even see what I'm doing? I don't want to try to, well, I can't angle the camera down anymore because I've got my iPad duct taped to the wall, literally. Yeah, I do wing it occasionally. All right. Wow, there's some brown. I, I had the brown sugar all beat up. Why is it chunking up like that? All right. Oh, well. Mr. Grebo gets into my baking brown sugar, and he uses it uh, to smoke salmon. And I get irritated because he's got stuff, and then he fishies up my, my new bags of brown sugar, and he doesn't understand why I want to carve his heart out with a rusty spoon when I go to get into my baking supplies and they stink like fish frustrating occasionally so okay I'm gonna add a little bit more of the butter I'm just gonna drizzle it on I should have spread it all over but like I said I accidentally melted it shit happens when you party naked sorry not sorry all right I just don't want the <laughs> the first time I made these I made the mistake of mixing the butter in with the cinnamon and the brown sugar, and it was literally like liquid. So I rolled it up, and it all squished out the ends. Oh, it was just an utter disaster. So we've learned not to do that anymore. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I cook better than I bake, ponderous pros. So, okay. Thanks, White Knight. You know, people say I have some funny sayings, so. It's like, Southeast Alaska, we're really close to uh, British Columbia. It was just right on the backside of where I'm from. And so, you know, just, you know, the, the Canadians are really good at chirping, you know, if you're into hockey and all that stuff. And so it's just kind of a byproduct, you know, take off hosiery. Because you got to get good. And in my family... Uh, 
you'll get eviscerated if you're not very verbally fast. <laughs> they're, they're all real quiet when everybody else is around. Brutal. I'm the happy, friendly one, I swear. But yeah, my siblings are hilarious. Okay, we've got, I meant to do that. Um, got this. My counter's clean, so I feel comfortable. Well, that has flour in it, so I'm not going to put that. So then what you want to do is you want to roll it up the long way, like this. <clears throat> oh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but oh, shoot. Okay, I'm not even going to risk it. I guess I'll go like this. I'll go like this. I'm going to re roll this part up so you can see. Well, you can kind of see it. Sorry, I, I can't. There's nothing I can do about this. So I'll, I'll cut it in half and then cut the halves in half. And so I'll get about 10 or 12. We'll see how they look. Pieces. I might have made it a little long. But is it ever really too long? Yes, it can be too long. All right, let's see. I did a terrible job rolling these out. Yeah, I'm cutting directly on my counter, but these... Counters are older than I am, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll get twelve out of this. So, oh shit, that one's gonna be thin. It's okay. I'm cutting my quarters into thirds now, so I'll get twelve of these little guys. Yeah, I sh like in general don't cut directly on your counters, but when your counters are older than you are. Eh. They're in pretty rough shape, so in this area is hammered. Um, do I grease? Is this pan going to be big enough? I think so. Um, do I grease this? I don't know. Chat, do I grease this? I think I grease the pan. Yeah, you grease the pan. I don't normally use a lot of paper towels, but for this... I'm not going to wash a rag so I can, after I butter a dish. <clears throat> this might be a little small. If it's too small, I'll stick them in something bigger. It's like an 8-inch pie pan. Oops. Shit. Okay, there's still a little bit of attached. A couple places, so let's see. Okay, I think this is going to be big enough, so I'm going to go like this. There should be 12 of these total. And you put them in here in the grease pan, and then I'm gonna we're gonna let them rise for 60 to 90 minutes. They rise pretty quick. Oh, I left this on too. So now I gotta open this up because the rack's gonna be too hot and you don't wanna burn your yeast. So let me pull the rack out so it can cool off really well. Oh, come on, chat, you're slacking. You're supposed to remind me of these things. It's called bad baking. I need help. Um, okay. Yeah, it's not that hot. It's only 150 degrees, but that's still too warm for a uh, fungus. Yeast is a fungus, so. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, holy moly. Okay. I'll show you what they look like in a minute. Uh, and you want these to approximately double? And, and and once again, I will apologize to anybody in chat that actually knows how to bake. <laughs> nope. Okay. Yeah, this is going to fit perfectly. It's going to, it should really fill up as these guys double in size. Unless the yeast is dead. Then they won't get any bigger at all. And we're going to be left with uh, cinnamon flavored hockey pucks. So we'll see how that works out. Oh, here's the other end piece. It looks pretty rough. Um... I'll just squish him in here. Okay. So it looks like this. Um, I need to put him somewhere warm, but this is the, the grate, the rack for the oven. It's a little bit too warm right now, so I got to let that cool off. I'm just going to set these aside for now, and then we can put them in the, uh, you know, the 
90 degree oven when everything is cooled down enough that it's not going to murder our yeast. I don't want to be a, a yeast murderer. Make me feel bad. Okay. Yeah, and if it's, it's 150 degrees, but if it's a little too warm for you to handle, yeah, the yeast aren't going to handle it any better. They're living organisms, darn it. So, but having this, yeah, this really helped cool it down a lot quicker. So, it'll cool off soon. We can, I like to stick the uh, stuff that's going to raise in the oven. Believe it or not, I don't know if I pointed this out. This is like a 1970s double oven. How awesome is that? I should actually put them down here to rise. Because it's, it's a better, it's actually what that's for. But Mr. Grebo keeps all his cast iron in there. So, guess not. Well, I used the cast iron too. Not as much as Mr. Grebo. Let's see what chat says. No need to grease it when you put butter, sugar, and nuts in the... Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, good to know. Mini rolls. Yeah, well, they double in size. And like I said, this is actually... So, these guys will really puff up. And they'll... Um, They'll get pretty substantial. Like, last time I put them in a 9-inch. Like, I'm almost wondering, should I move these to a 9-inch so they have more room to expand? I think they'll be okay because they can kind of poof out because there's some space. What do you think? 9-inch? Put them in a 9-inch or leave them in here and just let them because I don't even know if they're going to double in size. Why? I don't know if my yeast is alive. It's a crapshoot. Oh, thanks, Blondie. I know I love this thing. Oh, yeah, we love cast iron, too. You think I should move them, Stephanie? Put a one in the chat if you think I should move them into a larger uh, dish on the off chance they decide to get bigger. Move them, says Stephanie. Anybody else? Move to a bigger container. Leave them in the current. One. Okay, Stephanie says move them. Loyal Warrior says move them. I see how this is going. I'm lazy, so no, says Blondie. Okay, I'll move them. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I guess better safe than sorry. Where is my... This one is quite a bit. Yeah, the bottom of this one. So this is a really crappy... Uh, what's the... Crappy from... The Goodwill, but it works, right? Okay. I'm just going to butter the bottom because it's a habit at this point, even though Pondra said I didn't need to. So, all right. Jojo B says two. Woo! Team Lazy. Hi, Pan. Yep, this is the next bigger thing because, to be honest, my deep dish nine inch pie is sitting underneath a plant right now. I got a plant I need to repot. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to put. These in the middle, those, those. Yeah, this is going to have a lot more room. Yep, there's a lot more room in here. Good idea, guys. Okay. So there we go. They're going to really, because there's like a lot of room all the way around the edge. So I think, okay. Yep. Chat knows best. On the page from Chantal's book. Listen to my chat. All right. So I'm just going to, these things, I reuse them over and over. Do I ever buy these plastic things? No. They're terrible for the environment. Had to go to a function, and these were left over, and they were just going to throw them in the garbage, and it was a new pack. So I've been using them for seven months, and washing them and reusing. So, okay, I'm going to let them sit here. Let me, oh, no moment. So, set a timer for 90 minutes. Maybe it'll be sooner. That's not a timer. Okay. Well, I guess I got to set it for 60 minutes. I don't think I can do 90. Uh, nope. Wait, I can do... Shit. Okay, my phone is smarter than I am. One hour and 30 minutes. Okay. Okay, so those are right raising. Get all this. The, the stack of dishes after this. 
Exactly, Desiree. Not crafty, just well used, well loved. I, I like to get stuff used because if it's going to break, it's going to crack, if there's going to be a recall, it's already been done before you get it. Right? You just buy it. Somebody else has broke it in for you. Win win. Though the prices at uh, Goodwills and stuff lately, since thrifting has become a thing, and also Goodwill. Everybody thinks Goodwill is Goodwill. It's not Goodwill. It's a for profit corporation, and at this point, they skim off the majority of the things that would be considered big ticket items and sell them off on eBay. Look it up. So, yeah, Goodwill isn't such Goodwill, actually. They're pretty scummy, so. I say Goodwill, but I won't. I don't really shop at Goodwill anymore because they're scumbags. But, you know, Daddy's got to buy a new Porsche. Am I right? All right. Yep, tried and true. It's bad. So like you know, like uh, there's a lot of red hats which are ran a lot of times with like cancer, breast cancer survivors, or like Salvation Army. Those things are more legit. But Goodwill is it's just a corporation. So, yeah, Goodwill can just lick the backside of Chantal's unwatched fupa bowls. Kind of where I'm at with that, right? Am I right, guys? Okay. Let me get everything stacked in the sink, and we will... Oh, I still gotta make... Sorry. Okay. I'm gonna set these here for right now. We're gonna start making two noodle casserole, because those have to rise, right? So either I sign off now... Or we wait the 90 minutes, and then, you know, we'll throw them in the oven. And if we're real tired, we don't have to see the end of the cinnamon rolls. If not, you know, we can wait the extra. It's 20 minutes to cook them. It doesn't take long. We'll see. Garage sales, estate sales, exactly. So disabled veterans, SPCA thrift store, exactly. Salvation Army here, exactly, Lini. Has anybody noticed that eBay... And people's ability to, like, look up what things are worth to other people has really changed the secondhand thrift store environment. It's like, I get it, get your coin, but on the other side of the coin, you get people going in there that, you know, they're not really bro. It, it makes it harder for the people that actually need those things or want to kind of look decent and don't have a ton of money. And it's sad because you'll see somebody go in and it used to be they'd spend like three or four bucks and turn around and sell it for $30. Cause like I went to a secondhand store up in uh, Bellevue, which is outside of Seattle. It's a super expensive area. And I was finding like $150 brand new with tag on cold water, crick suede skirts and stuff for like $7.50. Are they kind of older lady clothes? Sure, but I had an idea what they were worth. Did I buy them and turn around and then sell them on eBay? No. I needed some clothes. I got some decent looking clothes. Unfortunately, there's people that now do that for a living. They go in every morning or they even have deals with uh, a lot of secondhand stores won't work with people like that. They're like, no, I'm not setting things aside, but some of them will. That's what Goodwill does. They set it aside and then they sell it for eight times the price. And it's sad because these things are donated, you know, goodwill, trying to help other people with things. So, you know, I'm to the point where like, even if, if I'm going to sell something for really inexpensive, just throw it on marketplace or something, give, you know, but then again, you get the thrifters. So yeah, internet change things. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's see what a Clarky say. Sleep over without the sleep. Yep. Yeah, exactly, Blondie. Yeah, Daddy better not be buying a new Porsche in this economy. Nothing right. Yeah, I gotta admit, it's feeling a little good to see Zuckerberg take it in the shorts. You know, all these guys, it's gross. Just the, the greed. Okay, let me get things ready. Talk amongst yourselves. We're going to make tuna noodle casserole. Tuna noodle casserole, white trash, trailer trash, tuna noodle casserole. You need a little Worcestershire sauce packet of extra white egg noodles. I always end up cooking the whole packet. Do I use them all? A uh, couple cans, cream of mushroom soup, and uh, two cans of chunk light tuna. Oh, and frozen baby peas. Uh, don't use canned peas. That is a crime against humanity. Don't do it. Um, 
And, you know, salt, garlic powder, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I have an onion. I probably should. No, I'm not even going to cook down because I'm, I'm down to like half an onion. I might need it for something else. So, yeah, I'll just use a little onion powder. So this is truly like if you don't have a lot of money or time. And it tastes really good. Is it good for you? Let's see what the fat content is of cream of mushroom soup. Trans fat, none. Saturated fat, one gram. Total fat, five grams, six percent. So no, it's not that bad for you. You know, it's pretty easy to make. I'm sure, you know, if you're in here and you don't know how to make tuna oil casserole, watch and learn. Okay. Let me get this stuff out. Mm. Who in the actual fuck did the dishes? Gribo Jr. might not make it to Monday. Are you kidding me? It's stuck on the bottom of my... So with these induction stoves, you have you can only use ferrous metal. It means magnetic. So I had to get rid of... I got these from my aunt. My cousin used to use forks and stuff in them, which you're not supposed to. So she gave them to me when she talked us into getting an induction stove. Like I said, it was an $1,800 stove. Brand new. Johnny got it for uh, like $350. Drove clear down to Central Oregon. Okay. Yeah, I scraped whatever it was off. Yeah, it's just for boiling pasta or noodles. Noodles and pasta, two different things. Okay, it's gonna be loud, I gotta get water. Chantal. Um, well, Chantal is of three weeks ago. Hi. Okay, gotta let that go. Bad visual. Let's see. Oh, good night, uh, white knight. Night, white knight. Okay, hold on. Let's see what do we got going on here. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just getting my phone to... All right, so I always add a lot of salt to my water. So the noodles or pasta is nice and salted, and I tend to not add very much salt at all. Oh my god, I just flip salt everywhere. It's like Tony Montana or whatever Scarface has been in here. It's like I'm doing rails off of my stove. Okay. That's the annoying thing. This thing beeps, and then if I lean on it, it turns off, and it's irritating. So, first thing you do is you bring your water up to boil. I Like I said, I cook the entire package, because uh, a lot of times I leave a little bit of the, the noodles out, because you don't want it to be too dry, and I don't want to add a whole other can of... Um, cream of mushroom soup because then it ends up like soup so and I always cook my pasta or my noodles uh al dente you know like a little crunchy because when I throw it in the oven to bake it if you've cooked it down to where it's the consistency you like then you end up with like mush which is basically what Chantal needs to be eating because she doesn't chew I'll be surprised if we don't see her just choke to death on stream Okay, what's the chat say? There's a local Goodwill outlet and folks buy large lots to resell. Exactly. Local art events to sell. They don't bother to move the tags. Yeah, it's kind of disgusting. I salted the stove. Um, all right. Uh, so what was it I wanted to discuss? Why do we wait for the, the water to boil? 
Um, that's right. Chantal. Kitchen chair. You know, she is said because she doesn't have... Oh, hold on. Let me put a couple more things up. Man, I have made such a mess. I wish I could... I'll take a picture of this, like, a before. I have a before picture. I'll take a picture after. You can see what an absolute nightmare I've just turned my kitchen into. Um, Chantal was saying oh, something about, like, you know, it's harder for her to cook or eat. I can't remember exactly because, you know... I meant to do that. I only tripped on one of the 500 cords. Um, is she was complaining about like not having the, the, the kitchen chair to sit in, which made it harder for her to cook. So first of all, when she goes into that kitchen, the, the one time when she made Lipton's instant soup and threw some potatoes in it, you saw every time she walked up to the stove, she went like this because she was physically throwing her gut, you know, on it probably to support it take some of the weight off her but also so she could get closer to what she was doing um that kitchen is so small you know that that's barely an option she i really don't think she was face on with the stove she had the camera kind of sitting off to the side and she was kind of angled almost towards their bedroom door because there's not enough room for her to get in this way into that long narrow kitchen uh, and there is no chair for her to sit in. So because there's no chair for her to sit in, and we've seen if she stands for any amount of time, she is winded. She is tired. I mean, that is 300 minimum, 300 extra pounds. It cannot be pleasant. And, uh, but it's most unfortunate because now she seems to be doing less cooking, right? Because it's uncomfortable. It's hard. So there's going to be more eating out. Higher fat higher salt, higher sugar in general. Like the way Chantal cooks, yeah, it's probably not the healthiest and stuff. But in general, the, the, this takeout food, it tends to be deep fat fried. It's fast food. You saw the salt, the sugar, the, the, the grease intake is so much more. So it, it's much more calorically dense food she's eating. So she's not going to, I, I believe she's not moving as much, which means, you know, so she's putting on more weight makes it harder to stand, there is no kitchen chair, it wouldn't fit in there anyway, and so she's just eating out, and it's just this, uh, we call it a positive feedback loop. There's a negative feedback loop and a positive feedback loop. Let me know if you want to know the difference, but this would be a positive feedback loop, you know. It's kind of a problem with climate change when they call it global warming, and it's, it has to do with the albedo of the polar caps and how much is reflected back, blah, blah, blah. And it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy, basically. Positive feedback loop with Chantal gaining weight and her inability to stand and or breathe. Um, let's see. Her yeast was always riding. Couch bound. Exactly. Like, it's, uh, and I don't like to, you know, life by Jen. She did what she did for a very long time, but... You know, the human body is an amazing thing, and it can compensate for so long until it cannot, and then the drop-off is precipitous, and it is deadly, you know. Chantal is 39 years old, basically, you know, moving into her 40th year of life. Here, sooner rather than later, I believe she will start facing serious repercussions of her choices. Sad, I don't feel sorry for her. Because we're here to talk about things she says. She says vile, disgusting things. Her behavior is vile and disgusting. And she just happens to be a super morbidly obese person that is literally killing themselves on the internet. Do I feel bad? No, not really at this point. Some people are just bad, right? Okay, let me know if the fan is too... Uh, like, I, I, I'm not the bigger person here. Like, I'm, I'm an asshole talking about somebody else on the internet, but her, she can't even fake it in front of other people. Like, I threaten Mr. Grebo. Like, I swear, if you come in and you're acting like you're not going to, you know, there's just things you don't do. You don't say the quiet part out loud. Chantal seems to have think that that's okay now. She thinks it's cute and quirky. I'm sorry, Chantal. Being an asshole is not cute and or quirky. Let me know if that fan's too loud in chat, please. Yeah, we don't have to be the bigger person at this point. 
figuratively or literally blondie is that too loud oh you can't even hear it nice okay hold on okay you go there okay all right that's the other thing is that the story you used to be able to get like bulk uh, egg noodles and stuff, and since the uh, the coup hit, they got they got did away with a lot of the bulk stuff. It's a lot harder to find bulk things. You end up having to buy the prepackaged. Where did that spoon? There it is. So if I sit too close to this, because these are Bluetooth and Bluetooth magnets, and these are actually what it is, is the induction, and it excites the molecules, blah, 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 but it's magnetic, and it messes with my Bluetooth, so if I get real close, yeah, I get a really loud buzzing. Did you need to know that? Probably not. All right, is there enough water in there? Okay, I'm going to leave that high. I'm going to add a scotch more water, just because... I need a little more. It's not quite enough. All right. Let's see what chat's saying. Is it possible to be bigger? What bigger than Chantal? <laughs> but I'm uh, Nice. Thank you, Blondie. Don't get stuck to the stove. Can you imagine? I then I kunk ow. Um so yeah, Chantal just sitting there and what was it? I think I went over this and it's salad tonight with his huh, 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 laugh. I thought that McStabby made me want to punch the screen. Oh my god. Like salad went from be I originally lay I said this a million times, I thought he was some window licking, crayon eating, you know. No, I don't think his comprehension of English is that good. He might struggle to convey his thoughts in English, but he is real comfortable getting down into that trough with Chantal, you know, into the, the kitty litter box and just being a jerk. So I have zero mercy. I, I hope I hope she makes him miserable, you know. He needs 20K. All right, so, oh shoot. He's gonna yell at me. Okay, I'll turn this down to eight and had it on high. I had my stove set on uh, Chantal high. What do you guys think that's gonna go on? Do you think she's. Like, do you think, do you think it's going to work out? Like, she's going to get a stay in the Middle East. Is she going to give up her residency in Leafland? Is she going to stay in the Middle East? Do you think Salad's in this for the long haul? Do you think Murad and Ali Shabib and Salad are all working together with this? What do you guys think? Curious. Also, fuck you, Missy Moo. You don't get to come in to this community and try to be a little mishelpful. You don't get invited to the slumber party. Oh, so yeah, what did you think about when the doctor looked in her throat? Like, could it have been a usual, a regular infection? Sure, it just seems pretty suspicious. Like getting a throat infection and everything, I really think it might have been just some of the, the green peen throat action that, you know, residual because she doesn't take. That's my take on it. And it finally flared up because she got the cold and her body could no longer adequately fight off the bacteria that had been kicking around in there. And they did check salad, so. Let's see. You banned. Who got banned? Who was in here smack talking? Or is that just Clarky saying, uh, oh, are you talking about Missy Moo, Clarky? Like, we're done with you. Yep. 
Freckles channel thumbnail stomach churning, right? Um, here, let me see. Okay, I'm not looking at chat for a minute. Hold on. Well, oh, I got to check the noodles real quick. I don't want to overcook them, but I got a couple more. What is this? I don't have access to all the photos. Okay. Yeah, you want it al dente, which means you don't want it like crunchy, but you want it real firm. No, that's still crunchy. That's disgusting. All right, let me see what I'm looking for here. Oh my, did this not update? Yeah, I can't get to because the screenshots I have are on this thing. And this hasn't backed up. Because this thing is a billion years old and, yeah. Okay, it's backing up. Hold on. So we'll just let it do its thing. But I, I grabbed some screenshots because she is looking mighty red, mighty out of breath. Uh, and she's going to stroke. And she was saying something about high blood pressure. Like, oh, it must be the high blood pressure. Like, when you have really high blood pressure, you can actually feel it. So I'm wondering if she's not starting to feel that pounding in the head and your face is so red. And yeah, you get red when you're overweight and stuff. You can't tell me that her blood pressure isn't through the roof. Can't be comfortable. And the beat is. All right. I'm going to look at the chat here because that's backing up. I love dry pasta. I like raw dough. I like, and I will eat really crunchy pasta. I don't like raw pot or, you know, dry pasta. She's retaining water. It's just water weight, right? The amount of sodium she's intaking on a daily basis is shocking. STIs happen, but that she's so cavalier with it is just sad. No self-worth. And that he shares food with her when she's had that going on, right? Yeah. Yeah, and that I, I suspect that is why the doctor also checked uh, Salad's throat. She is on the brink. He's waiting on life insurance. Yeah, the the fact he's keeping around and how so during that pizza bees that god awful pizza with hot dogs on it, and she said, "Oh, I already had three pieces." He's like, "You should eat more." I honestly think he's trying to eat her into almost a bed bound, immobile. Hopefully. You know, what he's hoping for is she just or becomes so bed bound where he's just totally in charge of the money and everything like where she'll be dependent on him. Like, I'm really starting to wonder, does he just want some 450 pound, you know, bed bound woman that can just rage on the Internet? All he has to do is throw food at her, like feeding time at the zoo and just get the things he wants that's you know what do you guys anybody else think that yeah Chantal to get a life insurance policy at this point because she's not compliant she would need blood work and everything and it would be super expensive at her age at her risk level any actuary yes there is always life insurance for anybody but you will pay and guaranteed, Chantal is not willing to pay what it would cost for her to get life insurance. My opinion, but I do have some experience. So, yeah, no no actuary in the world is going to – it's not going to be like $15 a month. No, it's going to probably be several hundred because she's so high risk. There's just – you know, she's at that point where the perfect storm of things are going to happen. Not if, but when, and probably sooner rather than later, statistically speaking. So, yes, yeah, she can get it, but she would have to pay for it. Yeah, she, I, I really do believe, Stephanie, she's going to end up with Life by Jen. I don't watch Life by Jen a lot. Cause she just, you know, like I said, uh, isn't really my cup of tea. Did she manipulate her audience? Yeah, but, you know. Was she a passive-aggressive and kind of mean? Yeah, but. Okay. This is bordering on. I'll cook it a little more. But it's getting there. Oh. Okay. Gosh, do I have any room in the sink? Okay. I need to find something to put the... I really should have been... I'm so busy talking, I forgot to... All right. Mm. So... 
sorry. Sorry. All right. All right, so while this is cooking, I gotta get out another pan because we gotta do the guts. The guts. Can't have metal on metal with these things, my aunt said, so. Okay. I'm almost done with this now, so I'll just finish up. I'm trying to decide. Gotta be real careful. You're not supposed to put metal in these things, but let's see what chat says. I'm probably selfish, ponderous. Chantal's a moron. She wouldn't know a healthy relationship if a bitter in the ass. She even said with BB, she started moving stuff in there. Like, how long was she with BB? So we've seen how BBJ went from 18 years old to 19 to 20 to 21. So Chantal being, actually being, living, like, I, I question how long Chantal was actually in a relationship with BB. I don't think it was any eight years. I think this relationship was over a hot minute ago. But for various this and that, 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 he had mercy on her for a long time. And then Chantel said in a now deleted, you know, around Valentine's Day, B's where she's crying. She said, don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. She said to BB, well, what? Do you want to break up and I move out? And BB said, yes. She gave him the opportunity, like you could tell. Dude has been done with it for a hot minute. She also admitted in a video that before they broke up they had not actually been physical for over two years yeah so like i said chantal lies uh, first and foremost chantal lies about everything can't believe a word that comes out of her mouth exaggerations yeah that's pretty al dente hold on i got a hot water these things are great though the handles not hot it's great Talk amongst yourselves. Ouch! Shit, but I burned my knuckle on the pan itself. <sighs> Sucks to be me. Ow, that hurt. Ouch. Okay. So, so it's a little bit warm, but not bad. It's just warm because the pan got warm. But yeah, these things are great. Love induction stoves. Um, all right, I'm just going to use this again. So I'm going to turn it back on. And then let me move this out of the way. So I should have been opening this stuff. I was so busy just, it just it's been a week with Chantal, man. She just keeps running her mouth, but it, it's getting old. It's to the point like where I'll just check in. I'll, you know, like people said, piggy, truth is, it's just water weight. I'll check in with them. But, you know, I don't really bother watching her 99.9. Yeah, I go to the farms and check that out because you get some good recaps and hot takes. But she's just, you know, I, I, I say this every time. Your social media currency is valuable. I will not give Chantal a second of my time actually on her channel. I will not comment. I am not subscribed. Uh, and... My social media currency is valuable, and she doesn't get any of it. I will wait for the farms to archive the stream. I, you know, if if I don't feel like sitting through the four-hour live stream commentary from the peanut gallery, you know. Um, let's see what I got going on here. Oh, and did everybody see? Um, like salad, he's starting to look rougher and rougher too. Like the the unhealthy eating, he's he is getting thicker, and his face is really starting to break out too. Do you guys notice that in the the thing from today? Like he's really he's going to end up like he's like what do they call him? Pete's with a driver's license, basically. He's going to get fat, and you know, hold on, I got to drain the tuna. Drain in the tuna. What do you think smells worse? Tuna water? Because I use tuna in water. I don't like tuna in oil. So here I am being disgusting and petty. A little juvenile. What do you think smells worse? The tuna water in my fingers right now or the backside of that sweaty fupa ball after uh, her pulling around all day in Kuwait in 100 degree heat in a polyester abaya. Talk amongst yourselves.
All right, hold on. Let me get the chat back up. Okay. So, two cans of Trunk Light Tuna. If you're feeling fancy, you can use the, the solid albacore. I only use that for tuna noodle if I'm actually making homemade uh, like mushroom sauce or something like that, you know? But for the trailer trash stuff, no, I'm not wasting the money. Is the lighting okay in here for you guys? Can you see me okay? Or do I seem dim? I just realized. Hey, Enchanted Rose, good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. Barracuda, exactly. Can you imagine? Can you imagine being her OBGYN? Oh, fuck, kill me now. I've been in the back of the ambulance before, and I've had some just bad experiences with smells and stuff. And I mentioned it before, he's a deputy coroner, so I've seen it all i have smelled it all and like i still think that she is like yeah i have a really good idea of what smells like what when and i really think she's otiferous i'll leave it at that don't need to get too graphic whoops sorry i gotta rinse these and stuff i'm not having stinky cans sitting around in the recycling Gross. I'm not nose blind. I care how my house smells. All right. Um, oh, this is such a mess. Let's see if the oven is cooled down enough. I can put the... Oh, yeah. So, it doesn't look like they're moving at all. Well, maybe a little bit. Okay. Turn it on to scotch because I let it completely cool off. I'm going to let that leave that on for two minutes, and then I'm turning it off. Okay, the next thing is two cans of creamed mushroom. You can get the low-fat kind or the salt-free kind and stuff, but the low-fat kind, they end up adding so many fillers to it that it just gets this weird gelatinous ooze texture. Don't like it. So Let's see. Oh. Painful. Where's my little, I have a little tiny. There we go. It's good for getting in cans. You use the big ones, you know. If you get try to wedge the big ones in there, it cuts it up and just gets all ratty looking. I Yeah, Ponder's Pose. I, I'm creamed of mushroom. Make sure I'm right things. Yeah, I'm, I'm all about white trash occasionally. You know, the trailer trash stuff. God, these things are, like, dangerous. Two cans, cream of mushroom soup. If you wanted, you could use cream of celery. That's disgusting. Uh, not that I have anything against celery, but it just it, it changed the flavor. You could use cream of chicken, but then why would you be adding tuna to cream of chicken soup? But if that's all you have, it'll work. It'll just kind of kind of change the flavor, and the tuna will actually taste more like Chicken casserole, and I don't like chicken casserole. It, I don't know. Just don't. Okay. I got this. All right. Sorry I'm not looking at chat. As I say, about 100 times a day, I cannot walk and chew gum at the same time. There's no way I can look at chat and cook. I mean, I have screwed up everything I've done tonight. All right. So that's on low. I'm going to turn it up to like, meh, I don't know, like four to get it heated up. And then, because four means something to you guys, right? Because the, the heating on my stove is going to directly translate to what you're doing on yours. Yeah, no. Okay, I got to rinse the cans once again. Don't want to stink up the place. Normally I do dishes as I go along and cook, but it'd be kind of rude live streaming and then do a Chantal or a pizza and disappear for half hour while streaming. Rude. Okay. Um, let's see, what else goes in this? You want to put like some garlic powder, some onion powder, some like a teaspoon 
teaspoon and a half of Worcestershire sauce. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I don't know that I've actually even seen a, a recipe for this stuff. It's just, you know, something we've been making making since we were kids. Oh wait, that one? Oh yeah. So I have a couple of these open because Mr. Grebo goes in and grabs the extra stuff and then he cranks the fucking lid down because then... All right. Um, something does not smell good in that fridge. So I'm going to say like a tablespoon I'll start with the tablespoon, I'll taste it, and then to taste, because you can always add more, you cannot remove. So don't over salt, don't over zhuzh, because you can end up with some tasteless slop. Yeah, Princess Alyssa, I always rinse my cans out, it's just... Oh, turn the oven off, thank you, Harmony. Woo, thank you, thank you, perfect. Yep, I can touch the... Thank you so much, Harmony. Oh, you make... So, yep, it's, it's slightly warmer in there. Nothing is overly hot. It's just slightly warmer. So fingers crossed, the yeast is not dead. Probably should have proofed those. Once again, I will refer back to bad baking. Thank you, Harmony. Mwah. I love you. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'll leave this here just in case. Okay, four is a little too high. I don't want to fry the tuna. I just want to heat it up. Uh, a little onion powder, a little garlic powder. Onion powder. Oh, wait, that was garlic. Onion. Got this stove. It's like World War III. Um, what else? There was something else. Oh, like half a bag of frozen peas. Like, you know, the sweet, petite, the petite frozen peas. And if I'm out, I'll scream. But I know I have some in here somewhere. Uh, I always rinse mine first because you know how it's frozen. Okay, everybody plug their ears. Because you know when they're frozen, they get that, that water in there, and it gets that freezer taste even though it's sealed. So I always dump half the pack out into the strainer that I used to strain the noodles in and rinse them really good so I don't get any of that freezer ice flavor into my food because I personally find it disgusting, you know. Um, okay, let me get my noodles back into the pan I cooked them in. Ah, don't fall on the floor. Okay, so like half the pack. Eh, that looks good. Eyeball it. You know, like I said, it's, it's to taste. Is this helpful for people that don't know how to cook? Probably not. I don't know how to cook. It's called questionable cooking. All right, rinsing the peas. The peas actually look really good. They have very little uh, ice. So, um, let's see, how do they taste? Tastes like frozen peas. Fucking right on. Okay, shaking the water out. And... I don't mind a bunch of peas. When I was a kid, like, I would sit there. One time I sat at the dining room table for, like, 72 hours. I did not eat anything for three days. I think I finally passed out in school. I was a willful child. I'd rather starve. Like, I will starve before I'll eat something I don't like. No, I don't mind them. All right. Peas. Garbage. Um, okay, don't use a fork, a metal fork, in these pans. Do not do as I do. Do as I say, not as I do. It's just sitting right here, and it needs to be stirred. All right. I'm going to use my spatula. That might be enough for just, just stir sauce. Okay, we'll let it heat up for a while. I'm trying to think. I don't think I... I think... Oh, a little pepper. Mr. Grebo, he peppers the hell out of everything, so it really doesn't matter. Okay. 
All right. I'm going to try to wipe the stove off. It's I got salt on my feet. <laughs> salt all over the stove. Looks like a toddler's been in here. It looks like Chantal's been in here trying to eat. There's stuff everywhere. It's embarrassing. Okay. Let's see. Skinny Queen reacts. It's nice. Oh, hey, sk hey, Skinny Queen. Welcome. Thanks for showing up. Sorry, I'm, uh, it's a mess. Like I said, I, I've been on a tirade about Foodie Beauty's latest videos, and I've actually screwed up several things I'm trying to make because I'm too busy talking. So, yes, everybody welcome Skinny Queen. Okay. Um, let's see, what were we talking about? Was there another, I think there was another topic. Oh, here, real quick, I gotta rinse the noodles, too. So, you can throw them in wholesale, you know, in one big clump if you want. I don't like doing that. I like rinsing them. Because starch is a thing, believe it or not. I don't like them sticking together. All right. Nice and rinsed. There we go. Let me put that. Ooh, I'm running out of room. Okay. Hi. Oh, probably should put it on the burner. All right, let's see what chat's saying. We were talking about chin smells like the country dump. Yeah, Chantal, like, uh, it, and we already discussed this briefly, but when somebody in chat said, hey, you should start wearing jeans, you know, and shirts, you know, like Western clothes, and she looked at salad, and he was like, you should. And we were, we didn't actually get to discuss it. So, but now Chantal's story is like, you know, salad, I, I think, I, I didn't write it down, but I think she said that salad wants her to start wearing Western style clothes. You know, do you think when they shut the camera off that he said, yeah, start wearing those? Is he doing it because he realizes she's LARPing as a Muslim and it's offending people? Or do you think it's a smell thing? Because like, I'm telling you, like, I will sweat like a, a hooker in Sunday school you know, when it's hot and stuff, and you can get really smelly, and then you add not bathing, you know, and poor circulation, and anaerobic respiration, and stuff, and so do you think he's saying, hey, does he think maybe the western clothes, the cotton, will um, make her smell better, or do you think it's embarrassing, because she's in these skin-tight sausage casing of bias, um, or do you think, like, he said, yeah, you should, then after the fact, she asked him, and he, and he was like, meh, I don't really care, honestly. But she's saying he wants her to because she actually doesn't want to wear the abayas because though she likes what she views as a tent, that high, a black tent that does kind of minimize the offensiveness of, you know, the, the skin tightness of the polyester abaya. Or, you know, and so... But it's just too hot, and so she's logistically, she's realizing it's just going to be too hot, and so she actually wants to try the Western clothes because she's thinking, oh, I can get some cotton, cotton tents, I don't know, canvas, you know, like, she, I think she, she has eaten herself to the point where she really needs a specialty store, um, I'm going to lick my fingers and then wash them, like, Torrid, yeah, that's tasting pretty good, that's enough, we're just a stir sauce, like, Torrid, because, a lot of those shops, as have been pointed out, that you will find in the Middle East actually carry UK sizes, which are markedly smaller than the sizes you get in the United States. So, you know, the, I'm pretty sure like four to maybe five X is the biggest you can get really, you know, she's going to be able to find in Kuwait, you know, so she's going to have to maybe potentially start shopping at Torino. And as I say, once again, I'm not hating on Chantal because of her weight. She has the most unfortunate shape. It's because she's a vile, disgusting person that goes after everybody and their mother. She is a hypocrite and an animal abuser, and she's just ridiculous. So why not throw her unfortunate shape into the mix on top of her most unfortunate behavior? Chantal lies. We're just trying to get at the bottom of it here. Let's see. I think she is getting rashy. Yeah, skinny queen. I, I actually agree with you. In that kind of heat, when the chafing starts, and then all it takes 
Uh, yeah, I agree, skinny queen, because all it takes is a break in the skin, and then you start getting the rash and the sin, and, and you know some of the, those sores can smell and they hurt and they can spread, especially with especially fungal infections with Chantal. You know, with the as high as her blood sugar probably is, I'm surprised she doesn't have a raging, raging UTI right now too. It's just I agree, skinny queen. It's got to be getting uncomfortable. Worcestershire sure. Yeah, exactly. Yep. I agree a thousand percent skinny queen. We've got I've got big big people in my family, you know, and it's yeah, and I've been around some stuff and it and just you know, being in the back of an ambulance and things that I've done, I've seen and and, and it looks so uncomfortable. You know, not only does it smell, but it's so unfortunate, and, and it hurts, and then the skin starts cracking, and then once you've compromised the integrity of the skin, the bacteria, yeast, things get in, infections start, and it's just this self-fulfilling prophecy. And regardless of what Chantal says about the cheap health care in Q8, I beg to differ. I don't think she got the uh, extended travel insurance and OHIP or whatever she has is only going to cover so much. And I'm pretty sure they probably won't even cover private clinics. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I don't know, you know, and government facilities. I did a little more reading in uh, Kuwait in general, prioritize Kuwaiti citizens over expats or resident or anything. That's how that rolls. So they recommend that and Chantel's not even an expat yet. She's not a resident in Kuwait. But, you know, even foreigners in general are urged to use private hospitals. Kuwaiti citizens are given priority in state-run hospitals. Yes, Stephanie. When she turns sideways, it's just shocking. Skinny Queen says, I only get petty with Chantel because she is so nasty and vile to others. She really is. We were talking about that. Like, if... It, it, you know, she says, people go after me and people spend all their time online talking about me. And it's like, what do you do, Chantal? Like me? Yeah, I get on here on my lives and I talk about Chantal, but I also cook. I do daily vlogs. Look at you, AR. You can do vlogs daily in shorts. It's a thing. It takes a little work, but you can do it. Um, But yeah, she's just so disgusting. And earlier when she said, and I am not standing for Missy Moo. Like I said, Missy Moo. Um, when she's like, you know, everybody go over and report Missy Moo. <laughs> Just kidding. No, she's not kidding at all. So she tries to use, uh, but I do think the majority of our audience at this point are trolls and haters, you know, and trolls will do your bidding occasionally because they like to stir the pod, but yeah, I don't think she has that many. She didn't really have anybody loyal left. Skinny Queen, I'm a big one, and I do not take offense. I'm trying to reverse it. Exactly, Skinny Queen. The thing is, is actions speak louder than words. It doesn't matter how you got where you got. I mean, unless, like, you were murdering puppies and, you know, killing people. But, you know, but if, if you've eaten yourself into a position, you recognize what you've done wrong, and you're now reversing it, good for you, man. You have a right and if anything, you should be speaking up on Chantal because she gives out such disingenuous misinformation. And I said this last slide that you think about, like, you know, your average person, you know, they're not the shiniest penny in the pond, but, you know, they're not total morons, you know, and that's the average intelligence. And remember, half the people are stupider than that average. And so you get disingenuous people and misinformation, and it gets deadly for the stupid people. And I am here to stand up for stupid people. Don't listen to Chantel. You will lose fingers. You will lose toes. Your liver will give out, and you'll probably die. Am I being a little melodramatic? Probably. But I've just uh, I've had it with her. So good for you, skinny queen. Yeah. Um, I'm one of those people that uh, I just, like... When I get stressed out and stuff, I don't eat. Uh, if people in my family, I'm not going to get more specific than that because they will kick in the door and kill me, that stress eating is a thing. I'm the opposite. I'm the non-eating stressed person. So in a way, I'm fortunate like that. But And I'm just, I, I've just never been big on food. I just, it's not my thing. But uh, I had other bad habits, which I got under control. Uh, so yeah, good for you, skinny queen.
Yeah, and don't listen to Chantal. Okay, let's see what we got going here. This seems warm enough. Um, I, what I'm going to have to do is the cinnamon rolls. And so how long have we been on? Oh, so 60 minutes, 60, 120. So we've been on 2 hours and 40 minutes. So we will probably be wrapping it up within the hour. I'm going to put the cinnamon rolls down in the warming oven, which means I have to move the cast iron out. And I'm going to put the white trash tuna noodle casserole in the oven. So let me shift. Once again, talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, thanks, Skinny Queen. It's like, you know, like, like everybody, I, I, I said this earlier, I, I repeat this, I'm like a broken ra record that uh, the things you do to harm yourself an addiction, you know, or these bad habits is, well, I'll say for addiction, addiction is just, you know, the, the drugs, whatever it is you do are just a symptom of the problem. It's up here. It's the way you think about things, you know? And so Chantal has, has got this learned, well, I think Chantal has always been a fairly lazy person and just doesn't care. Um, but yeah, it, uh, the thought not followed by an action means nothing happens. Your mental health is not your fault, but it is your responsibility, you know, et cetera, et cetera. All, all, all those things. It's just, you know, I think everybody with Chantal is just to the point where it's like, shut the fuck up and change things. Uh, we're tuning out. Do I think she's going to go broke? No, she'll always have enough trolls and stuff watching her, but she's not going to be living the way she was. And I think the fact that she only has 600 people, 650 on a good day in her, in her chat, and FFG has 5.1 thousand people, that's got to hurt. And I said this earlier, I think that's why she left her chat open, because Chantal is trying to lure new people in. Okay. I'm going to, well, these aren't, how long has this been? Oh, boy. Is the yeast dead? I don't know. We'll see. Well, they're puffing up a little bit, so hope spring's eternal. It's slow. It might be old, but. So it's only been an hour, so I might have to go two hours, but they're slowly puffing up. Do they look a lot bigger? No, but they're moving, so it's not all dead. Okay. I got to move the. Oh my god, this stuff's heavy. All right. And then grease this. I know canola oil, it's not good for you. Or this spray, they the propellant in isn't the best. I usually, as you've seen in my daily blogs, I usually use this stuff to uh, grease the squeaky doors in my house. But it turns out it's multi-purpose. Go figure. Um, okay, I'm going to scrape this in first and then fold the, uh, the noodles in because I hate it when you get too many noodles in and then you've got like some dry ass casserole because you didn't. So yeah, put the noodles in carefully. So you have nice, moist, creamy, creamy and fresh casserole. I'm just like the ultimate troll tonight, right? I'm so witty and funny. That thing turns itself. That's the other good thing about this. It turns itself off. Okay. Let me set this out of the way. All right. I'm going to add a few at a time. I don't want to get too many. So, sorry. I'm just like blocking the view. Why am I even doing cooking on, in here? I've got stuff sitting in the way. i got... Pepsi. Probably this would be better in like a nine by what are they like nine by eleven, eight by eleven pan? I don't have one of those. This thing's like a thirteen by nine. I make it work. Oh, uh, I cook everything on three hundred fifty degrees mostly, so let's preheat that oven to three fifty. Checking to make sure there's nothing in there that I'm gonna ruin. Mm. Yeah, ponderous pros. I agree. You know, the bottom line is, is FFG went in there and saved that cat, man, and just fucking Semper Fi, you know, solidarity, whatever, man. That's just awesome. <clears throat> Let's 
Yeah, sorry, Blondie. It's like, I just, I, I, I just, Chantal runs her mouth and runs her mouth. And like I said it earlier, it's like, keep on chirping, pheasant. You know, you're going to bring out the, you know, where it's like, oh, you want to go tit for tat? Cupcake, bring it on. Bring it on, buttercup. I will eat you for breakfast verbally. But I'm trying not to because the thing is, I have this rule. I don't fight with lol cows on the internet. Not my thing. I'm not going to snipe her and have a conversation with her. Not my thing. I don't care that much. I don't care what she thinks about me. Heck, maybe I'll get lucky and she'll go online and rage about me. She's already said my name once. I'm hoping she'll say it again. And maybe I'll get more people watching my daily vlogs. You know? Because I'm not monetized. I'm not here. We're just discussing the monetized content that Chantal puts out and how it is mostly disingenuous, uh, hateful, hurtful, vile, uh, highlights animal abuse and neglect, and uh, is potentially dangerous for stupid people. So, And she does have a few loyal VIBs, which, like I said... Um... Wow, I really overdid it with the noodles. I'm going to add a little more. There's, I don't know. I can't, like I said, bad baking, questionable cooking. That's what we got going on here. Did my mother have any children that lived? Jury's still out. Okay. All right, that should be good enough. Some people put, like, cheese and stuff on top. Ew. No. Um. Okay, yeah. I like it. Seriously. Uh, I hate to use this word now. But I do like it, you know, creamy. Like, I, I can't dry, I can't stand dry casserole. So, that's why. Okay. So you get it in there. We just got to wait for the oven to preheat. If it gets ridiculously late, I might put the cinnamon rolls in while they're cooking. I'll make some frosting and I'll sign out and uh, post the pictures if it gets ridiculously long for them to rise. Because like I said, I didn't prove the yeast. Was the leaf yeast alive? A little bit if it was because they're kind of rising, you know, and completely dead yeast provides no rise. So, and there's no baking powder in these so it couldn't be getting a leavening from that but if it's going to be stupid long I'll have to post pictures but by the time this is done you guys will at least get to see to what level of rising we are at you know feel free to make fun of me in my comment section I'm sorry I haven't even been looking at oh good night princess Alyssa oh man I'm sorry I missed Hey, Amber R. Hello. I'm sorry. I'm just so not looking at chat. I said hi to Skinny Queen. Hello, Amber R. Good night, Princess Alyssa. Uh, hopefully she's still here. No. Oh, the smoke alarm. Harmony. Oh, my God. I should hire you as my personal assistant. It's nothing to do with smoke. My oven is clean. You could, like, eat. You could eat a sandwich if you dropped it on the floor behind my toilets. Super clean. Um, but... These smoke detectors that came with this place when we, when we got it are very heat sensitive. So once this thing heats up and I open the oven, they'll go off. I think they went off like the very first stream I had. Super embarrassing. Mr. Griebel loses his crackers over it, you know. So thank you, Harmony. Mwah. Thank you so much. Let's see. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Which one is going off? I meant to do that. That was a demonstration that was completely planned. I swear. Get the other one before it goes off. All right. They're both down. Thank you, Harmony. I should have just acted... The second Harmony told me, no laughing at me in chat. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you believe it? Oh, I'm sorry if I stressed out anybody's dogs. Yeah, can you believe it? I'm smack talking like, oh, it's not my oven. I'm so busy explaining my clean oven and it's just the heat without taking down said smoke alarms, smoke detectors, and they go off. So this would be the second live that they've gone off on. Once again, I know I sound like a broken record. 
Bad baking, questionable cooking. I'm still better than uh, K Cook, so there's that. Do not walk by here naked. Okay, Mr. Grebo. Sorry, he's he can use the other door because he's like a toddler. He's impossible to keep clothes on. Like he gets out of the tub and he's just like, Mah! and I have him run around clothes and curtains and stuff because you know it's like elderly people all around us where we live in our mobile home park and. Uh, yeah, I don't want to get in trouble because he's streaking. Okay. Um, I put tin foil over this. Are you starving? He's not answering me. Maybe he went back in the tub. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to put tin foil over this shiny side down because it reflects the heat back in. I used to always think like, oh, shiny side up. No, shiny side down. You're trying to reflect the heat back down. Uh, uh, naked. Yeah, he's always naked. And like when he gets out of the tub, he'll go like lay on the porch. He'll turn off the porch light and just go lay out there, just commando. And I'm like, the actual, you know, and then I've got these light activated or these motion activated lights. So if he moves wrong, all of a sudden it's like, poof, and it's like, oh my God, we're going to jail. Wait, is Aaron? Hey, Dixie, good to see you. Hey, Aaron, glad to see you back. Harmony, thank you so much for your help, man. I seriously, uh, send me, yeah, naked neighbor number. Oh my god, yeah, like, I still have to catch that guy. What is, what is up with this? Okay, no, it's fine. It just looks a little weird, but, my tinfoil looks weird. It, uh, it's almost like it's oxidized, if you look at it. I don't know if you can see it, but it has this weird sheen to it, like it's oxidized, like something got spilled on it. And it's oxidized the aluminum. I hate that thing sometimes. So, yeah, it's, see it? Can't see it real well, but that's just weird. Fingers crossed it's not going to kill me. Let's see, lock them up. And the naked neighbor clothes suck. <laughs> Loyal Warrior, you and Mr. Grebo get along great. Yeah, he's that guy. Well, he'll be going along, like, you know, going down. His dad lives down, like, bottom, bottom of Oregon. He'll just stop at a river and strip down and just jump in, you know. I'll be like, what? No. Well, if they don't like it. They can just, yeah, one of those naked people. Uh, hello, Loyal Warrior. Welcome back. Okay, why am I smelling the oven? Okay, preheat, uh, bake. Let me make sure it's not too warm in here for these guys. I'm going to move this rack all the way to the bottom because I have the oven at 350 and I don't want this to get too warm for, and they are, oh, fuck me running, just work. Oh, sorry, I forgot I was streaming, yeah. Oops. Alright. Gotta make room. Okay, so here's where we are right now. They're, they're finally starting to raise. Like, they're... I know it doesn't look like much, but they're starting to puff up a little bit, so... Yeah, I think it was probably... The yeast, my yeast, it's a little old. Um, so it might take a hot minute to get those to raise, so I don't know if we'll get a seed done product. I swear, if we don't, We'll put pictures on the community tab. Uh, Laura's back. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Do oh, we should probably bake this, right? Realistically, you could just mix this up, microwaving, and it probably tastes about the same. The consistency isn't going to be the same, like because you want the the tuna slop to like absorb into your al dente noodles. But, you know, you don't necessarily have to. In fact, I have these uh, co-worker of mine I used to work with. 
um, showed me, he called them white trash, uh, uh, I know, I keep saying white trash, uh, he called them white trash grilled cheese, he would take bread and would put it in the toaster until it was pretty much toasted, and then he would take two pieces of American single cheese and slap them in the middle, throw it in the microwave for 15 seconds, like literally 30 seconds you got pretty close to a grilled cheese without the butter or the fat. It was actually not bad. So uh, scooping this out and microwaving it is kind of a tuna noodle casserole version of a uh, white trash grilled cheese, if it makes sense. So we're not going to do that tonight. We have questionable cooking, but not questionable methodology. Um, let's get this in the oven. Oh boy. So I always turn the oven up a little high so when I go to slide it in, it stays hot enough and the oven doesn't come back on. Bake. Okay. Um, I need to set a timer. Ah, let me set the laundry timer. Hold on. Oh. Yeah. 45 minutes. Analog. I don't need a Faraday cage for my timer in case uh, an electromagnetic pulse goes up. I've got an analog timer. Okay. That tick on though drives me crazy, not going to lie. <sighs> okay, let me put this stuff up and let me at least sweep because I'm stepping on, like, food shrapnel. I can only imagine those people in that poor... Cabasa restaurant or whatever where Chantal was laying on the floor and food everywhere. Yeah, I can. It's, uh, it's what it's like. There's just salt and stuff everywhere. Okay. SCL Sigma, welcome. Glad to see you. Um, I suppose, like I said, I'm going to do a little more cooking thing. And it does look like, according to what I'm seeing here, that my stream is occasionally choking. I don't know why, because um, I've got really good internet, so I don't know, maybe my iPad's dying, um, but we will go back and recap everything we spoke about regarding Chantal, because I don't want to be the broken record. You know when you're sitting in those streams where they've stream sniped, they've had the conversation, but more people come in and they want to keep talking, so then you just start repeating the same thing, and then you actually become as obnoxious as Chantal because you're just repeating the same things over and over, and the same bitches can't stand that pet peeve. Anybody can do that. That's fine. Not my circus, not my monkeys. I don't like to do that here. Do I repeat myself? Yes, but I try not to. I've got notes. Like I said, i got notes taped to the wall. And everything I'd show you, once again, iPads duct taped to the wall up here, so I can't show you. But I don't mind recapping when we're done. I, I We've covered the iPhone. We've covered the abais. We've covered the, uh, the chair, the kitchen chair. We've covered the pizza bees, like as far as him telling her she should eat some more. Uh... Her going on and on, her talking about half the world is fat, and I, we discussed the difference between fat and super morbidly obese. You know, there's awareness, self-awareness. Uh, salad is equally as disgusting as chins at this point. Uh, Chantal, telling everybody go after Missy Moo with it. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and so I did have something else I wanted to talk about. Hold on. I got notes. So hold on. Um, but let me sweep up real quick. Talk amongst yourselves. And while we're talking, like I said, while that's cooking and those cinnamon rolls are going to rise and I'm not going to, I can make up some uh, Uh, cream cheese frosting for them. Like I said, are we going to see them cook tonight? It's starting to feel iffy. I think it's going to be a hot minute before those things are ready to go in, but hope springs turtle. Um, oh, the broom. Hold on. Oh, once again, thank you so much, Harmony, for reminding me about those smoke detectors. I just, 
next time you guys just remind me to pull them down beforehand because that's just embarrassing. Okay. Uh, I've got one of these. Remember these from like everybody's mom or grandma had these from the when we were kids? Uh, I'm going to wipe that down too because that's gross. I don't like having food on my counter. Okay, I'm going to wipe this down and cover it up too. So let's clean up for tomorrow. There's going to be a mountain of dishes tomorrow. That's one thing I hate, not being able to wash up as I go. And I like to keep this covered because it just gives me more countertop. And since it's an induction stove, it doesn't get hot. Okay. Let's clear the field of vision. I'm going to have to open up new sh powdered sugar. Now I know why I grabbed the vanilla because I need the vanilla for the cream cheese frosting. Mm. Should have had a V8. All right. Cream, no, uh, vanilla. Yeah, I got enough vanilla. Um, I got some butter here, unsalted butter. Oh, I had that unsalted butter that I threw back in the fridge like a dumbass that I needed for the uh, right. It seems to me like. Oh, wait, no, that's right. You need actually quite a bit. So you need like a third of a tablespoon of butter for, or do you use regular butter? I'm trying to remember for the cream cheese frosting. Pretty sure it's, let's see, you use an entire stick, so a quarter, so two. So this is about two. This is about two. That should be enough. I kind of eyeball it. So yeah, un, unsalted butter, powdered sugar, vanilla, Cream cheese. Do I make up a full batch of cream cheese frosting? No. Because I will just sit there and eat it with a spoon. Not a big fan of food. Love myself some cream cheese, so yeah, not gonna lie. Okay, let's see. The hamster community here on YouTube would drag her. Yeah. Yeah, animal lovers in general, like if you are not going to take care of an animal. Don't do it. And so she's always like, she's just using BBJ for views. Bitch, please. Cat deflection for forever, you know, and all, and, and, uh, and all FFG has done was not let you put the cat down. And so BBJ could live, you know, her out her last year is BBJ. I honestly think she's only 18, maybe 18 and a half. I think Chantal's kind of, I, I know Chantal's lying about the age. And like my cat lived to be 22 plus years old. So this cat's got some time left. She's not at the end of the road, I would guess. So why let her suffer? I mean, geez. Cream cheese in my crack pot chicken with mushroom. Yeah, I'm skinny queen. I'm the same. Hey, natural ginger. Hello. Yeah, I'm all about um, cream cheese. Good morning, National Ginger. What is it, 4 a.m. there? I'm eating some noodles. I actually did eat today, and then I start to shake. Is that healthy? No. Don't do what I do. Okay. Um, let me get a bowl. We've got the stuff. I have got two almost dead soldiers here. One caffeinated, one not. And then I have a seltzer water. Because we're getting to that time of the evening, folks. It's starting to wind down. So, and I will do all these dishes tomorrow because I just can't tonight. Okay. That can get washed. Um, oops. 
Oops. All right, we're almost ready to make the uh, the frost. So, and I'm assuming, do you guys want the recipes in a community post or nah? Like, we're all adults here. Nobody needs these recipes. Um, I gotta find a bowl. Let's see if I have a clear one left. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I do. Nice. <clears throat> Probably, I wish the butter was a little softer, but that's eh, okay. So, it's a spoon. You see what the, yeah, they're, they're puffing up just slightly. Like this guy, he's starting to get, they're starting to get a little puffy. Like I said, they're finally starting to rise. Not incredibly so, but slightly. So yeah, I think we're going to have, it's going to take a minute. I should probably Google the yeast thing. Like I said, maybe it's mostly dead. We'll see. Should I make the frosting, though, if I think they're going to come out? Well, cinnamon-flavored hockey pucks invariably will be better with cream cheese frosting. So, yeah. And if they completely turn out terrible, I will just eat the entire batch with the spoon myself. I'm good with that. Put the butter in the... for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Good idea. I'll, I'll put it in the oven. Good idea. Good idea. Thanks, Blondie. Can't you just have skinny cinnamon buns? Yeah, they can get a little hard, but that's cool. Hey, no justice, no peace. Welcome. Shit. So, I, I wanted the cream cheese kind of soft. Might have overdid it. Unfortunately. Uh, hold on. Now, wasting cream cheese is a federal crime in my world, so, yeah, get it all. Yeah, I'm licking the wrapper. I have no shame. I'm Gen X. This is by far not the most embarrassing thing I've ever done in my life. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. That, that's it. Uh, I'm going to set the butter. I'm going to put the butter in here, and I'm just going to throw it in the warming oven for a minute. It seems like it was a quarter cup of butter. So if you need a quarter cup of butter, which is half a stick, which is four tablespoons. I'm trying to remember this recipe. Um, hmm. you know what I'm just going to throw the other actually I'll put this in a ramekin in the oven along with I'm going to put them in two separates and I'll slowly add the butter because I don't like my cream cheese frosting too buttery if that makes sense like because if you I over butter it then I'm screwed and I don't have any more cream cheese so I'll add the first one first, like this couple, two and a half, maybe three tablespoons, which should be more than enough, but yeah, this, this unsalted butter is nearing the end of its life. It needs to get used up. Anybody that doesn't know, salt's a preservative. Unsalted butter has maybe a three-month shelf life in the oven or in the fridge. You can freeze it, but it goes bad real quick, so there we are. I'm not overly worried about it. Um... Uh, Okay, I didn't see, I didn't catch up with how Ginger is doing. She's, it's probably about four in the morning for her. So she's a trooper for showing up. Okay, we'll start making frosting here soon. We'll wrap up with the Chantal thing. The tuna noodle casserole will be done. And hopefully we'll, I'll be able to put the cinnamon rolls in the oven. But if not, we will sign off. I can then uh, take a picture of how they turn out, and then you guys can all laugh at me in my comment section or community post. So I'm cool with that. 
you don't go on the internet criticizing other people and feel like you're above being criticized. Let's see. Yeah, I'm so happy to see everybody. It's like we were, I was saying earlier that like you know here in North America there's so many drunks out and stuff. St. Patty's Day, it's best not to be out. And uh, depending on how rural you are around here, the more like you know it's like some people they just drinking and driving or just being under the influence and driving is like a, a hobby. Like, I mean, look at Chins. Get completely baked out of her mind and be out driving around like, oh, it's just marijuana. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You know, these are people that can't be bothered to get off the couch to do anything except for maybe to get like three large pizzas and a bag of Cheetos. Uh, you should be operating like a few thousand pound motor vehicle. No. No. Not okay. Let's see. Okay. Oops. Let's get to making this. Uh, and we will recap Chantal. Did I use this? I just used it. I better wash it to be safe. Okay. So you get, you want to kind of cream down the, the cream cheese. I'll get the butter out. And like for... Uh, four ounces, which is like half a brick of cream cheese, like a cup of powdered sugar, and like half a teaspoon of vanilla, and like three tablespoons of butter. You know, it's kind of the taste, you know. Oh, yeah. I really think that the cinnamon rolls, oh, holy, I don't want it to get too warm in here, though, because I don't want them to start cooking. It's not overly warm in there yet, so okay, we're still okay. They are starting to rise, like the heat coming down from the oven. They they're they're getting a little poofy, which is good. So, all right, Blondie told me to put it in the oven. Thank you, Blondie. So this is like two and a half, three tablespoons unsalted butter. Uh, dead wildlife all over Canada. Yeah, exactly. Like. And I am not a vigilante kind of person, but sometimes you wish country justice would just, like, she talks such a good game. And, uh, yeah. Keep chirping there, Chantal. You're going to get yours. It's like, and just, if nothing else, karma. Just thank God she hasn't killed anybody. Oh, we were talking about, do you think Sala has, was suggesting earlier, like, is he just tired of her complaining? Or he didn't feel like going out later, so he's like, oh, eat more pizza. Or do you think he's truly trying to eat her into a bedbound arc where he has complete control over the money, she's dependent on him? What's everybody think? I just thought that was weird. Yeah, Clarky, I'm kind of excited for cinnamon rolls, too. Mr. Grebo loves them. But, yeah, what do we think? Hey, Jocelyn's mom, welcome. Hey, Jessica, good to see you. Uh, let's see. Oh, hit that. Oh, thanks, Blondie. Yeah, I think she's corrupted him. Blondie, I agree. Um, I think he was scammy scummy to begin with. But honestly, I think that because she has no shame, he's not even trying to like he's just, you know, uh, I said this earlier. Hey, boo. It's not the this is the uh, two new casseroles almost done. Come say hi again. Come over here. To death. You're starving to death and nobody cares. You can say hi again. Where's the food? It's in the oven. Sit down. Hi. So it's, Is it ready? it'll be ready in, uh, give it about 15 minutes. I'll dish you up and bring it to you. That's an onion. Yeah, you look like you're starving to death. I'm so worried. So thin. Nobody cares. Starving to death. So thin and waif-like. Yeah, give it about 15 minutes. I'll bring you, you know, you'll have some food. Okay. Let's see, what were we saying? Yeah, I do think she's she just, Chantal is very codependent on him. Agreed. I And I do think he, if, if the less he has to bring her out with him, I think the happier he'll be. So I do think he's trying to get her less mobile <laughs> quickly. <coughs> I know, Mr. Grebo, he's going to play guitar <laughs> for a minute. And he's not starving, trust me. 
<clears throat> All right. Um, so about half a teaspoon. I'm going to start with half a teaspoon of vanilla because you don't want to over vanilla. Nothing's worse than like, yeah, you know, when you add too much of an ingredient, you're like, uh. So. Well, I'm going to add like a quarter of a teaspoon to be safe. Taste it and then go from there. Because it's pure vanilla extract. It's pretty strong. Um, in a cup, I have a new thing. Powdered sugar. Or the ham side. It's a snack. Thank you, holy moly. I'm a snack. Starving Marvin. Oh, you guys don't feel sorry for him. He eats plenty. Hey, DG, good to see you. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, yeah. Wait, did she stream? Okay, DG, did she stream again after her uh, salad and Sean? The, 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 remember when FFG and her were almost talking back and forth? Like she had the stream where she had the photos of FFG up and was complaining about that. Has she streamed since then? Or is that the one that had you seething? That's the one about push me over the edge. Like I came in here and like, I'm hot. I'm being an asshole. Uh, I'm not even trying to be diplomatic. Like she is just a train wreck of a human. And if I'm going to be honest, I just hope the camera's rolling when the universe comes for her. Let me know, DG. Hey, Kyle Butler. Welcome. Yes, I know. I miss everybody. Uh, Kyla Butler. Yeah, I'm going to start trying to stream on cup. This is a ramekin. I got it at a secondhand store. It's a cup. So about a cup of powdered sugar. I'm going to start trying to do the live streams, questionable cooking, bad baking every Friday night so we can discuss the monetization of disgusting behavior on YouTube. Um, so did she do something else, DG? Like, or are, that's the last one? Yeah, that, uh, I, listening, like I said, I, I tend to catch up with these things on the farms because do not give Chantal a view. Nothing. Give her nothing. No social media currency to, like, starve her out. It's the only starving this land whale is going to do. And am I saying that? Like I said, I could care less about her weight. It's her behavior that makes her disgusting and her commentary on everybody else. So, yeah, you want to make fun of people with kids, people's bodies, people's age. You know, pack sand loser. Job of the hut is small compared to you. Am I mad at a stranger at the internet? Yeah, like occasionally, DG, I get it. Like I, I, you, I almost have to sign off because usually it's my entertainment. Like you know, like your grandma would sit down and watch your soap pop every day. I'm like, whoo, who's gonna sleep with who? Who's gonna divorce who? Who's gonna die? You know, and and it's like that. But lately, the Chantal arc has become to the point where I'm getting like mad because just the things she says and the things she stands for and the information she puts out is just so that I find myself wanting to punch my screen and then I have to sign off. So, mm. so in general, please don't interact with lo lol cows. In general, don't get mad at strangers on the internet. If it upsets you that greatly, walk away. And that's what I had to do. I didn't catch all of that stream because I got so frustrated. I walked away, but now let's just point and laugh. That's what we're here to do. So, but ugh, occasionally, you know, and I'm just by nature a really lippy person. And it, the, the one thing I will say, the one thing that pushes me into like the insanity zone, she's like, if I ever ran into FFG, do not be writing checks with your mouth that your ass cannot cash. Chins. Bad idea, because one of these days you're going to run into a hater. That will take you up on that. And once again, I just hope the camera's rolling when it happens. I feel the universe owes us at this point. Like, I have, how many years, Laura, have we been watching this train wreck? What did DG say? FFG sniped it, and I watched that I would never, exactly, exactly, DG. It's like, if you can't watch the archive on the farm, then you watch somebody else snipe it, or you wait for the clip channels. Do not give her the view, because you think, oh, it's just one little view. It adds up, because everybody has that attitude. Um, okay, it's time for me to check the non-rising cinnamon rolls, um, but 
what were we talking about? Yeah, I got really irritated today, so I had to step away. And then that was kind of what pushed me into the life. And, and for anybody that was here earlier, you know, I've got like a bunch of notes and a bunch of stuff that we've discussed because she just, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? So, okay. So this isn't quite as creamy as I want it. Uh, so I'm going to add some more butter because it needs to be a little creamier. It's a little too dry. Oh, well, actually, it might actually be just fine. Let's see. Did I miss anybody that came in? Erin Tay, Gigi, Jocelyn's mom, Clarky, Blondie, Laura watched an actual stream of paint drying. Yeah, and many of us went in and reported it well. Yeah, but and like, like I said, I'm not standing for Missy Moo, but when she said, everybody go report Missy Moo, just kidding. Once again, are you fucking kidding me? It's... YouTube, I don't think, is ever going to hold her accountable, you know, so, but yeah, don't give her a dime, because I really think that it's going to get, once the bedbound arc hits, you know, the, the, the medical consequences, like, she's already suffering, like, her shape is so unfortunate, her body shape, because you've got the first roll, the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, and you've got the apron that hangs down to halfway to her knees, and then you have the you know, the fupa ball that hangs down to her knees. It's so unfortunate. It's got to be uncomfortable. Uh, so she is already suffering physically, but when the medical consequences hit, you know, let's hope she's streaming. And then uh, her ego is taken a beating because she's not getting the views. She did not accidentally leave it as open chat. She wanted people to come in and chat because she's not getting viewers anymore. And her views have have themselves easy. And FFG is crushing her. So, love that for her. I'm looking for my uh, squeegee. Let's see. Yeah, and I'm, I'm all about it. Like, if, you know, break in terms of service, man. Oops. Oh, that's where those are. There's my rice scraper. Um, did I use up all my little... Oh, wait, I've got, I got one over here. All right, I got to taste this and see how it tastes. It, I think it might actually be pretty okay. And check the cinnamon rolls. Uh, they're not getting in a ton bigger, but they are getting a tiny bit of rise. It might be a while. Like I said, I'm going to let them sit for a while. I don't think we're going to see them cook tonight, but um, I will take a picture. And I'll let you know if they turn out like little cinnamon hockey pucks or if they're actually what we had hoped for. Hold on. Let's see how this tastes. It's got a tiny bit too much butter in it for my liking, but I don't have any more cream cheese, so it is what it is. Um, no, it's still cream cheese frosting. It hasn't bled over into like more of a butter cream. It's good. It's good. Two thumbs up. Take that, Gordon Ramsay. Okay. I'm really tempted to lick this, but I won't. Well, the camera's on. As soon as I turn this off, I'm licking that completely stem to stern. Ah. Was that today, DG? Let's see. FFG had 555. Yeah, she had, uh, when I looked, she had 5.1 thousand people in there, so she got up to 55. Good for her. Bam. I, I like I said, I want her to crush Chantal. And for whatever reason, man, FFG just gets to Chantal like, like nobody else. It's epic. And I love that for her. Um, oh, that's what I was going to talk about. But for Chantal, talk about how happy she is. And you guys are spending all your majority of your day you know, hating on other people, and it's like, yet she sits online all day long, and this is what the thing I was going to say about Chantal, for somebody that's so well adjusted, and is so hated on, have you noticed that she already always knows who's streaming about her, who's sniping, who has posted what, where, who said what, where, what comments have been made, like, she's, when she is not streaming, 
actively streaming or raging in really, really poorly worded English, I might add, Miss, I'm an English major. I will refer back to my standard insult. If you're an English major, I'm a virgin. Ask my kid about that. Um, so, yeah, what, what she's doing that when she's not doing that or sleeping, she is online actively seeking out every single place she can find what is being said by whom, how many views they're getting, etc. You know, you, you can't tell me she doesn't live on the farms. And, uh, you know, that that's what she's doing. And so, and then she comes on and for whatever reason, well, we know why. She's raging about FFG, which, love that for her. Um, but yeah, she's just, I don't even know where I was going with that. But that's what she's doing. This is, a, do I think Salad lives there? No. I a thousand percent do not believe that Salad lives there with her. So, that's a hill I'll die on. Until I'm proven wrong. Why? Because Chantal lied. Um, let's see. She said the most hateful things about poor FFG's dog. Yeah, Chantal and her going on and on about sick animals. And I think this is where Chantal has screwed up. You know, everybody knows the documentary, Don't Fuck With Cats, right? Luca Magnata probably could have gone away with the terrible things he did, murder and stuff. Except for he messed with cats. And animal lovers are a group of people you do not want to mess with because they will hunt you down like the metaphorical dog or figurative dog, I don't know, metaphorical figurative dog you are and rabbit dog you are and take you down. And she, she so she's digging that hole. Like there are, are, it's like, I'm pretty passionate about Dungeons and Dragons, right? But yeah, there are people, they feel very passionate about their pets and she is now fucking around with people's emotion with, they're fur babies. Bad idea, Chantal. Bad idea. Epic mistake. As Pretty Woman said, huge mistake. Huge. Um, oh, hey, Lynn Smith. Hello, Lynn Smith. Good to see you. If there's anybody I missed, I'm really sorry. Just keep screaming in chat. I'll eventually see you. Uh, I'm going to check the, uh, the tuna noodle casserole and... Yeah, big mistake. Huge. So I love that for her. And you got to remember for the views, I'm not sure what it is on YouTube, but I think if somebody watches more than 10 seconds or 15 seconds or something like that on YouTube, it counts as a view. But a view is not the same as a view. But don't even give her a view. Like a view. And number two, you know, she's making these shorter videos. I think it's got to be at least... 10 minutes long if you want to put a mid-roll in it. And so, like I said, all this laziness stuff is catching up with her. But so even if she has 7K views, like how many of those are people that just popped in or for small sections of them? You know, they're not necessarily view view. That makes sense. Let me check the um, tuna noodle casserole. Sorry, my, my jammies sliding down. Okay. Kind of smells like it's cooked. It's been in there for. Oh yeah, it's steaming. Do you want to eat now, Mr. Grebo? Are you dying? Hey, Randy Rhodes. Yes, please. Okay, I didn't make any rolls or biscuits or anything. I suck. <laughs> that attitude. No, I'm not. Oh, you guys can hear me. Just ignore that entire conversation. Sorry. A little graphic. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I think it's done. Ow. Ow. I think. Oh, I forgot to spray the... I almost grabbed the... Uh... The spatula with the frosting on it. That would have been disgusting. Um, we'll stir it with a fork. Yeah, it seems it's, I'd say it's hot. So, anybody that's new, white trash tuna noodle casserole. Yeah, see these pot, these, this, the, the noodles? 
probably should have went a little more al dente. They are really, but they're not, I want to take a bite, but it's just scalding hot, and I don't feel like, yeah, let me dish up Mr. Grebo, and then we'll wrap it up. Hey, Frosty the Home Man, welcome, good to see you. When bed bound, she'll have even less non-tint. Yeah, in the, yeah. Oh, thank you, DG. Yeah, it's like I said, it's a little white trashy, but you know, it, anybody that was here on my live last week, I have not been to the grocery store in four or five weeks. So we are down to like canned good type cooking or like bad baking. Let me dish up Mr. Grebo before he dies of starvation in the living room. Poor Mr. Grebo. He's so abused. Uh, and then we'll wrap it up. The cinnamon rolls are not going to be ready anytime soon. Like, they should have been ready to go in the oven. Like, it's not happening. Did the yeast die? No, because they're kind of raising. But are they anywhere close enough to what they should be? No. But since they're still rising, I'm going to give them a little more. This is just a mess. And now the fork's all sticky because my hands are sticky from the f frosting? Yeah. Oops. You want pepper and salt? Heart attack with the sneeze. Okay, hold on. Here you go. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Here you go. I probably won't need salt, but... What are you trying to say? My food's salty? Like me? <laughs> okay. Um, let's check the, turn this off. I need Harmony here to run my life for me. Okay, let's check the cinnamon rolls and then we'll wrap up. Okay, they are slightly expanded. Slightly. <laughs> but not doubled in size. We'll let them sit a little longer. I'll Google. <clears throat> um, I'll put this in a container and then we will wrap up because... <clears throat> Disabused. Good word, Blondie. Oh, thank you, Natural Ginger. Yeah, it's. I think my yeast is being less than cooperative. Apparently, my my uh, instant yeast is taking a page out of Chantal's book and just choosing not to do anything it needs to do. Like, eh, its job to you know raise the cinnamon rolls. Uh, oh, thanks, Frosty. Yeah, this is like. It's like super girly and goofy, but I like it. All right, let me find something to scrape the tuna noodle casserole into. I will pull my notes down, and we will actively review everything I have already ranted about. We will have closing thoughts, and then uh, we will stay tuned and patiently wait. Oh, for fuck's sake. Grebo Jr., when he puts up the dishes, it's just a nightmare. Ugh. Um, we will wait for the universe and its divine retribution, uh, and hopefully she's streaming. So yeah, let me get this put in here. I'll take a picture of, if I remember, of all the dirty dishes. Good God, I've got dirty dishes all over this kitchen because we've been streaming for... 20, 213 minutes, and so six, so six, six is 180, 900, 200, three hours and, three hours and 30 minutes-ish, I think we've been streaming, if I've got it right, it's a lot of streaming, so yeah, we should wrap this up, it's getting late, everybody's probably exhausted, I've got a shit ton of dishes to do. I've got cinnamon rolls to be upset with. Hold on, i got to close up the, uh, the powdered sugar, though. Okay. Anybody else save all their uh, rubber bands from the grocery store? Keep stuff nice and sealed up. Um that up that needs to get put up oh, i need one more small container for that mm. 
It's a little big. That's a little small. No, I think this one will work. Hold on. Sorry, it's just, it's, these cabinets really need an extra shelf put in them. And so it's a balancing act. And then you've got to, like, lean back over. It's just, uh, place was built in the 70s. It wasn't built for convenience, trust and belief. <clears throat> But this is a really big kitchen, so I can't complain. Even though I do. <clears throat> All right, I'll get my notes down here in a minute. I do want to taste and see how mushy these noodles are. Oh, good. It tastes good. It's not too salty. It's not overly creamy. Definitely not fresh. Yeah, everybody give me a thumbs up. I did not burn myself. I did not burn the house down. I only set the one smoke alarm off. Thank you, Linda. And welcome. Yeah, this actually tastes pretty good. For like three dollars well with today's prices you know you're looking at like a buck oh nine per can of cream mushroom mm -mm. the bag of noodles a couple bucks so one two three four five six six dollars oh and the frozen peas seven dollars for you know a few servings so can't complain we're getting ready to review hold on I actually realize i'm kind of hungry I haven't eaten since really yesterday. Um, okay. That probably should soak. All right, that, oh boy, so many dirty dishes. Okay. I'm going to set this over here. A little cleaning up and then we're wrapping it up, guys. Rebo is exhausted. Like, yeah, and everybody in the chat that's angry with Chantal. So the cream cheese frosting turned out delicious. If the cinnamon hockey pucks don't turn out, it's cool. Um, I think everybody's super frustrated with Chantal, though. Her, just, her behavior was disgusting, extra disgusting today. And she wants to double and triple down on things that are just factually incorrect, which is, I use this word all the time, so incredibly disingenuous. It's just, uh, and it... It's like his, oh, there's my new. All right, I'm going to get my notes. We're going to wrap it up. Oh, look at chat. Let's see. Yeah, we got, I got some notes. I have some thoughts. I had a few thoughts. I've been taking tiny notes, but then that FFG stream, and I, I was listening to that, and I kind of lost my, lost, as I say, but lost my crackers. Shannon's new short, it's great. So I'm not going to play it, because like I could flip my iPad around and play it, but when we're done here, everybody go to go watch the short. Like, I don't like to play other people's stuff just because it might, you know, like I said, there's, you know, 38 people in here. That potentially is 38 people that might want to go watch it. So I don't want to take her views. I don't know if she's monetized or not, uh, you know, so I just try not to do that because I've had my content taken. Without, it, it irritates me to no end, you know, if it's something new. Something has been up for a while, yeah. You know, so I get with Chantal, but once again, she's a terrible human being, so she gets what she gets. But I choose not to play, you know, because like I said, uh, I also feel a little different about stream sniping. That's really different. Like, Chantal's content is so low effort. And realistically, um, yeah, I kind of hope she doesn't make money off of YouTube. Sorry, not sorry. So, 
I'm fine playing her stuff or clip channels or whatever because nobody should be giving her anything. Why? Because she's a terrible human being. She's a drain on society. She's a disingenuous misinformation passing on her pulling heffalump that is so incredibly self-centered. She is toxic. She is poisonous. She is vile. She is a black hole for natural resources and or energy. She's an energy vampire. And I just kind of want to see it all go down in flames. Why? Because karma is a fucking thing. So let's wrap up. Um, let's see. Is there anybody I missed? So, and sorry if I'm actually a little extra spicy tonight, but I've, 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 like I said, my entertainment, Chantal has been my entertainment for years. I have had it up to here, like getting, if you get mad at the internet, sign up. So let's see, let's review and then we'll go. Karma police. Exactly. If for nothing else, she claims to be an English major. Bullshit. Not an English major. So, open chat. So, yeah, so the chat she had when she when she ac accidentally had open chat, I think that's a lie. I think she left it open because she's trying to get the end date. The uh, engagement, salad telling her she should eat more pizza. It, it kind of feels like, why is he telling her to eat more? When, you know, like, what is going on? Does he want her bed bound? Um, well, can you hand me that? There's more here. Here. You starving? So, um, and then the, the chat told Chantal that for the pants and top, you know, and then she said to Sal, like, what do you think? He's like, oh, you should start wearing Western wear. And then she turns around and says, oh, Salad told me to start wearing Western wear. Like, did he actually say that? Or is that her excuse so she can get out of the polyester skin tight sausage casing a bias? You know, is this her idea? And you know how it is. All of a sudden it's like the police told me, the judge told me, the doctor told me, my mom told me, my landlord told me, you know, YouTube told me, which is all a load of horse shit. We know it's just Chantel thinks a thing and says a thing and then backs it up because Chantel is firmly convinced that she says something with authority, then people will know that it's true. Not how the world works. So, um... So they showed the blue tarp window, and Chantal is always saying how it goes out into the building, and she doesn't want people seeing in there. I personally think it's some kind of access hatch to, like, the pipes or the plumbing or something like that. And rather than having just a regular little door, they had a window handy, so they threw a window in there. Just my thoughts. Uh, some kind of basement pipe access. Rats coming up out of the drain in the bathroom. Love that for her. Um, why the iPhone? I think, I think Salad wanted the iPhone because he's comfortable with the operating system on an iPhone. That's what he knows. So it's easier for Chantal to have what he understands because, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, did he actually, did they pay? I don't believe for a second he paid for the phone, but did she give him $2,300 cash? And was it a, an a la Shabib special? And he pocketed? You know, 1700 of it because it was a like new or a refurbished phone in a new package. Is that true? I don't know. It was pretty fishy that Salad kept telling her to turn the camera off, turn the camera off. Uh, so, but yeah, the, I, I wrote down Salad has an iPhone and he's probably just not smart enough to figure out how to use a Samsung. Or maybe it's a low grade he wants to humiliate her at some level, like in a passive aggressive way because the iPhone doesn't really have filters and... You know what I mean? Like, he gets along with her, but, you know, even the people that you get along with, sometimes they irritate the shit out of you, and so who knows? Well, I'll look at chat in a second. Uh, Chantal is the human embodiment of I know you are, but what am I? Like, literally, grade school taunts. You know. Her clapback game is weak. Weak. I know six-year-olds would better come back to that. Someone who's well-adjusted would, would, would be spending their time with their new husband. Uh, yet she always knows who said what where, who's on what panels, who posted what where, yada, yada, yada. Not well-adjusted. When she's not online creating 
like creating drama with things, you know, because she's, she's not truly raging right now. She's just creating drama. When she's not doing that, she is actively searching out everything said about her so she can fuel this fake drama, you know, and the, 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 the hypocrisy falling out of her mouth. Super irritating. Um, oh, and she said, I'm still standing and I always will be. Not for long, Chantal. You are 400 pounds at five foot one. I'm still standing, and I always will be. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You can't even stand the cook. The bedbound bark. Bedbound arc is incoming really soon. Uh, did I took over a loser spend the majority of their time hating on other people? Excuse me, ma'am. 80 to 90% of your stream is talking about FFG, talking about Natter, or just raging about other reaction channels in general hypocrisy much like you know uh half the world is fat i'm sorry yeah half the world is fat to be considered fat you need to be about 20 pounds overweight that's fat yeah half the world's fat you are not fat chantal you are super morbidly obese literally circle and grain is a 40 year old woman you are not middle-aged you are if things play out the way they usually do statistically for people that have been super morbidly obese for the amount of time that you have been, you are not middle aged. You are at end stage of life, right? Statistically speaking. Could I be wrong? Sure. Do I think I'm wrong? No. You know, and even at this point, if she completely changes everything, it, it's still the damage might be done. Uh, and then she was talking about, you know, just cause I can't sit down across my legs, you know, I decided to lay down and eat sideways doesn't make me less of a person. No, it doesn't make you less of a person, Chantal. It actually makes you much, much more of a person than you should be at five foot one. At five foot one, you should weigh a buck, a buck oh five, not four oh five. You know, you are like three bills over carrying capacity. You know, you might want to think about that. Uh, so yeah, basically I wrote down, she's just a cautionary tale for how not to live your life. Like learn from her. Uh, I used to be really bad. Like I'll, I'll admit, like I even just getting up and making my bed, it wasn't my thing. I get up and make my bed every night. Like, like, you know, sometimes when you're adulting, life is hard and you can get a little sloppy and lazy. Chantal has served as motivation for me, and I get a lot more things accomplished now than I used to, or not always, but in general, it motivates me to be the best me that I can be every day because I see the alternative. Hard pass. Um, yeah, I'm trying to see if there's, I think that's, Yeah, I think I've I've covered everything. We made white trash uh tuna no casserole. Let me look at chat real quick before I signed off. Yeah, those heffal humps and dumps. Exactly. Imagine not being able to cross your legs. Yeah, can you imagine not being able to physically get yourself down on the floor? Like I can only imagine. Like gravity, I say this whole time, gravity, it's not just a good idea. It's the law. Can you imagine when she gets to that point where she is listed? Sorry, I'm making her sound like a large tanker. But, you know, she's got to the side where her arms are not physically strong enough to hold her up. So then gravity takes over and it's probably like like a controlled crash landing is what goes on. And it can't be comfortable. Her hand was purple when she was leaning, leaning sideways. You know, it's not that hard to... You are not going to eat ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's not that hard. Like, you know, she's talking about, oh, the Middle East this and the Middle East that. Well, how hard is it to Google proper table etiquette? You know, these three fingers, you don't claw. You know, she looks like a claw machine at a county fair. <laughs> Feeding time at the zoo. That's not how it is. And she is so desensitized to her. Her, her slovenly ways and her just being gross that there is food everywhere. It's falling out of her mouth. It's an embarrassment. Like, I I am questioning if Sally isn't honestly thinking like this whole Muslim LARP thing is not working out because I eventually going to start offending the people that are living around you or, you know, attract attention from individuals that you don't want attention from. Just a thought. I don't even know. I'm rambling at this point. Um, Almost, let's see. 
keep your yeast in the freezer. Oh, that's an excellent time. Thank you. Yeah, so that that's my plan. I'll say real quick, bad bacon, questionable cooking. My yeast is along with my insulted butter will start being kept in the freezer and I'll pull it out as I need it. I think I've already murdered this yeast though, so too little too late. Um, yeah, so her eating was just absolutely disgusting. Um, yeah, it's just, I, I think it's a matter of time now. Things happen in their time, not my time. Would I like to see some consequences? And and don't get me wrong, Chantal living her life on a daily basis, regardless of what she says, every day is a consequence for the choices she has made throughout her nearly 39, her 39 years on this planet. She's moving into her 40th year of uh, whatever it is she does. I'm not going to call it living. It's just existing, right? and sucking up resources like literally she's like a virus almost or a bacteria like they're there but is it, can you really call it you know like viruses are they alive i don't know like i don't call what chantal does fun i would call it a consequence is she aware it's a consequence i'm sure but she's not going to say it out loud but i think a lot of people want to see like consequences consequences like you know like her visibly upset i think that that arc is coming you cannot treat your body the way you're treating. You cannot treat other people the way you're treating. You cannot treat the base that gives you the money that allows you to live the way you do, the way she does, without suffering consequences. They're coming. Uh, it feels like they're geologic in time scale. You know, like it's been an epoch or two. Like, are we in the Pleistocene? Like, why aren't I seeing these things? It's just because 24 hours in Girl World or the Chantal Verse or, you know, Hater Nation, whatever, it feels like a week. You know, time has slowed down for us unfortunately, but her consequences are coming, so be patient. If you find yourself getting mad at the internet, turn it off. She's not worth it, man. She's just not worth it. So I'm back to be able to laugh about it, but the animal neglect, animal abuse commentary about other people's animals and their choices of having to put down animals that they love, don't fuck with cats or animals. Um, I'm talking with my hands, and I don't even ever do this. Uh, yeah, the, the, the my yeast, like I said, it took a page out of Chantel's book. It's not going to do anything it's supposed to. Um, so can anybody think of anything else that we need to go over? Or do we think that this pretty much, like, I'm to your shorts, your adult very well and keep clean home. Thank you, Aaron. Yeah, I tried to. It's just, like, I showed my, my wallpaper before. I could spill an entire lasagna or, like, Kung Pao chicken all over it and you wouldn't notice so it's like and it's it's a much older place and so even when it's clean you know I want the corners clean like with the toothpick just crazy clean and I can't get that here but then again I kind of like the seven I, no I love the 70s vibe who am I kidding burnt orange avocado green harvest gold love it um so let's see one last time yep okay oh shoot I am really behind on chat don't worry. So, yeah. So, okay, everybody, I'm going to sign off. Thank you for sitting here with me for, are we only at three and a half hours? I, it seems like these streams, I just, I can't stop talking for like four hours. Let's see. My math. I can't math today. Let me see. So we've got 200, and so I'll round up 235 minutes divided by 60 in an hour. Yeah, we're nearly at four hours again. He's cool. So, all right. Yeah, we're, we're about seven minutes off of four hours, but that's cool. So, all right, everybody, thank you for showing up. Sorry, I was a little rambly. Sorry, I was a little mad at the internet. Everybody leaves top hats in the chat. <laughs> and uh, it's, thank you for stopping by, DG. Thanks for being here, Clarky, Natural Ginger. Thanks, Linda. Thanks, Lenny. Thanks, Holy Moly. Thanks, Stephanie640. Thank you, Aaron K. Thank you, Laura is okay. Thank you, Ponders Pros. Be sure to give the stream. Yes, thank you. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, thank you, Blondie. Thank you, Frosty the Whole Man. I love that name. Thank you, Lini. Thank you, Harmony in Life. Oh, my God, you're my angel. Um, thank you, Lynn Smith, for being here. I said hello to Aaron K. If, if there's somebody that I have not said goodbye to... Um, Leave me shamrocks in the chat real quick. I want to make sure um, Jessica, 
Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, DG. Um, I'll give it a second, everybody. And yeah, we're going to sign off here. I just want to make sure I said goodbye to everybody because I just, I feel bad. Like, you know, I worry about it. Let's see. And go, yeah, Ginger, go back to sleep. It's like, what, 5 a.m. there now? So, okay, Ponder's Pros, I'm sorry. Thank you for being here. Anybody else? Any more shamrocks for anybody I forgot to say goodnight to? Going once. Going twice. Let me write goodbye to everybody, or goodnight to everybody. Good night. No, that's not how you spell goodnight. Good night. Oh. Good night, natural ginger. Okay, yeah, now everybody put shamrocks. Oh, Jocelyn's mom, good night. Harmony, so everybody put shamrocks for it's happy St. Patrick's Day. And I am out. I'm going to try to stream again. I'll try to do this again next Friday. I will try to, I don't know, have got some groceries in the house so I can do something a little easier than having to spend four hours. Um, I will try to have notes. And eventually I will get this down to where... I'm not just embarrassing myself on the internet. So, all right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Mr. Grebo said good night, too.